Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Cords. How much snow do you have this morning? Um, well, great excuse to stay in and sew, right? Yes. Uh, more great excuses to stay in and snow, snow, sew on this snowy day. That's the way round. You know, words, order, it helps. Um, are coming up this morning. Should we take a little look at just one moment? Uh, because we have got a lot of fabulous fabrics in our Miss It Miss Out at 8 a.m. There it is, I can see them stacked in the corner. Some of my favorites in there. Then 9 a.m. is our spring sewing treats with Deborah Sims. We're already eyeing up some of these thinking, yep, that'll do, I'll just have that. Uh, then 10 a.m., our Easter stitching parade. Oh yes. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got pretty practical pouches. Is that just like a, um, just a, a warm, a warm up? Pretty practical pouches, pretty practical pouches. That's what we've got coming up at 11. Oh, can I show you a pretty practical pouch? We have been uh, ooing and ahhing over these this morning. How beautiful are these? <gasps> yeah, they're going to fall into mine. Hang on, we've, we've already divvied these up, haven't we, Producer Hannah? Were you having... Yeah. They are absolutely stunning. So uh, Deborah Sims is going to show us how to make these. <sighs> we love them. Uh, right. If you are new to Sewing Quarter, or if you've just forgotten, then here's how you can get in touch. Head to the website, which is sewingquarter.com, or the W's, obviously, www.sewingquarter.com. You can watch us live there. Do you know, it's, we're actually in HD on, on, a, on the website, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then, oh, look, there's me and John. Oh, knitting and stitching show. Oh, I'm down there tomorrow. Yes, so is producer Hannah. She's not there in, a, in a, an official, oh, yeah, and Joe Carter. Oh, we're all there. Come and say hello, um, if you can get there. And then underneath, if you keep scrolling down. Oh, yeah, head to watch first. There you go. And then once you've watched, scroll down, message the studio. That's how you can get in touch. We'd love to hear what you're up to this snowy day. Have you got children? Are you having to pretend that you like the snow? Or do you actually like the snow? And then keep scrolling down, and all of the items that we've got coming up on the show today will appear. That's yesterday's. That's about to go. Oh, there's still some kids left. This, oh, no, oh, look, disappearing before our very eyes. Ready to be replenished and replaced with today's fabulous offering. Now, the thing to bear in mind today, because it is miss it, miss out first, uh, first hour, which means that these fabrics we will not be ordering again. So if you've loved them, you need to get them today. You can check out your basket as many times as you like. You, you will only be charged 1 PMP per day, which is 2.95 per day, which is absolutely fabulous. So it means that you don't have to miss out at all, thinking, oh, am I going to be charged again? No, 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 no. And the other fabulous thing to tell you this morning Lots of fabulous things. Um, is that uh, we have a sister magazine, and it's called Simply Sewing. And Simply Sewing is celebrating three fabulous sewing years. So to celebrate, they are offering for this week only. It's just for their birthday week. They are going to offer you 50% off the Simply Sewing subscription. Head to the website, it's on there. Now, you've got all sorts of crafty sewing, dressmaking sewing, and you can see Joe Carter's all in the top right hand. There's always a Joe Carter make for each of the magazines. So if you love Joe Carter's makes and you want to you know, always have those patterns to look and see what's coming up, then, uh, then, then it's all in there. Not to be missed out on, 50% off. I like that a lot. Uh, Producer Hannah, what would you like to do? Miss it, miss out? Should we go and do it? Yeah, let's do it, come on. Yeah. Ah, right. All of it. Easter. This is beautiful. This is Hannah's handiwork this morning with a little bit of help from director Mike. Looking good. Yeah, there's been quite a lot of input there. We, <laughs> we enjoyed it this morning. That's how we've spent our time. We've had, actually, we've had a lovely morning so far this morning. Uh, right, okay. Ah, all of these beautiful fabrics. Now, 
a lot of these we can't get again. A lot we're just not going to order again because we want the warehouse space. We want to be able to bring you more brand new fabrics because, you know, that's what we do. Sometimes the designers will bring it back in a slightly different colorway or a different design. Uh, whatever the reasons, there are probably many of them. These will not be being reordered. And some of them I know what the designs are that are coming in and it's super exciting, but I can't tell yet. All uh, right, let's start off here. This is your Macawa Uptown. We've done this with bag making, we've done this with quilting, we've done this with a lot of sort of things. We have less than 10 meters in the company of this. So if you love it, pop it in your basket and check it out. It's just $5.99. Um, sometimes our codes come up really weird. Dami08 is the code for this one. D-A-M-Y-08. Um, all done in half meter increments. Hey, do you know what? Actually, that is something to mention. Here at Sewing Quarter, we are quite unique uh, in terms of shopping channels in that um, when you buy your fabric, we will sell it by half meter increments. So if you're after this today, then, and you put one in your quantity basket, we will get our roll of fabric at the warehouse and uh, we'll do it a bit better than this. Um, we, we, we will cut you a half meter like that. If you've put two in your quantity box, that means you want a meter. And we will give you one full meter. See what I did there? It's like, you know, magic. Um, so that's how it's done. So this morning we were discussing what fabric I was going to do my curtains in. And I realized that actually after I made it, I would need about 20 meters. It's quite a lot of windows. So um, yeah. So I would, have to, I would be putting in 40 units for my 20 meters. There you go. All beautifully folded and on their way to you. Now, if you want the... Actually, we can see Chris loitering there, ready to fold it again. He's very good at folding. But look, if you want the white version, they, these work beautifully as a contrast. I love the rainbow versions in these. So this is the white one here. So if you want to get that one instead... Uh, Grays down the bottom, whites here, just there. Then it's five ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Now, so that's that one. Now this is a range. So what we've done is we've put the whole range together for you. Stop it! He's, he, he's twitching. He wants to get in and, and refold my fabric. It's become a thing. He knows I'm dreadful at folding fabric, so he's just like, I'll, I'll just do it, Natasha. It's fine. Just do it. You're rubbish. I'll do it. Um, and I'm very grateful for that. Can you fold jumpers really neatly as well? You can. It's a skill. Uh, now, here we go. These are the birds. Oh, yeah, I started saying about getting them all in the range, didn't I? Um, if you get them all in the range, then you've got exactly the same colors, which is really nice. So this is all part of the range. So we've ordered these into ranges. So this is all your Macau uptowns, and these are your white birds. Only seven meters of that. But look how beautifully it works with the others, you see. This is why I just buy the range. Even if you just get a half a meter of each, then you've got all the, col you've got all the colors and the colors work beautifully because that's what we often wor worry about. <laughs> Hannah says, only half a meter, what's wrong with you? Wow, that is lovely. It is, yeah, it is two fat quarters in half a meter. If you're used to buying pre-cuts, that's what it's the equivalent of. So for this price, crazy, it's crazy good. Uh, now these are the rainbow vines. I like these, I like these a lot. And it, would you like it as a bag lining, producer Hannah? You're a fan of a funky lining? Well, can't argue with that, can you? Five ninety nine for your white rainbow vines. Do 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 do. Even if you if you imagine if you did the binding with that. So if you want to see which is going to mix and match, get in touch. We're here. We're ready for you. Oh. Now, this is still part of the uptown range, but you see, you have to have it. If you're quilting, then they say, don't they, you know, you, you need a dark, a mid-tone, and a light. This would work out as being one of your darks. So these are your hot pink gemstones. These are all 100% cotton and 44 inches selvage to selvage. Great quality, easy to work with, lovely weight cotton. This is a quilting weight cotton. All of this range, okay? There we go. Oh, we love it. Let's pop that down there and there. Uh, oh, and then this is still, this is the last one of the Uptown range that we have available that we're not getting back in. Here it is. Now, what are we calling this one? Oh, Backsplash. 
That's it. I knew it was like tiles. Because it's like the tiles. But I thought that they were, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I thought they were called. Anyway, they look, they look fabulous. And they work with all the colors. So if I just very quickly, before I hand these over to Chris, look at, yeah, you see? See how they all work beautifully together? That's because the color tones are exactly right. Tone on tone, perfect. So that first one we shown, how much have got that's gone? We had 10 meters down to three meters. So we've only got three meters left. Seven meters already gone. Lots of you buying more than half a meter. I don't blame you, it's fab. That's just to give you an idea of how quick to go. Maybe also pop in some plain gray as well, because that would all that would all mingle and work beautifully through. Uh, Chris, now you may have that entire range. You lucky thing. He's pressed all of these. He's ironed all of these. He, you know, he's worked hard at it. Are we just going to see his little arm? No. Oh, Lewis and Irene. I love Lewis and Irene fabrics. So there are only three meters of this left. Oh, you need this in your life. If you have someone that loves dragons and castles, this is the one. This is the one. I absolutely adore this. So, yeah, World Book Day. I'm still waiting for my photos of um, my son as Paddington Bear. What did your housemate go as? As who? Burglar Bill. She went as Burglar Bill. She's got to walk down the street as Burglar Bill. OK. <laughs> you made her an eye mask. Oh, is that the wonky eye mask, producer Hannah, that you made? Yeah. Oh, she made you make it while you were cooking dinner. Well, that was a mistake. Hmm. That's, I mean, multitasking, that's, a, that's a, a trick in multitasking. Now, Lewis and Irene is a British company. Um, it's named after the people that now run it. Um, it's their grandparents. So Lewis and Irene are their grandparents. Their parents set up the company, and now um, the kids are running it. Yeah, but they are really, really lovely. They're grown-ups. It's not like five-year-olds running it, by the way. They, you know, they're, they're ever so nice. And, um, and it's just a really beautifully family-run company. This one is going to sell out. Get it while you can. We were talking about um, whether or not they'd go into Jersey prints and stuff, and they said, well, the, the trouble is trying to get the, quan the quality. And so they, um, you know, they really do love and care about the quality. And this is, oh, this is a beautiful range. This is from the Country House range from Lewis and Irene. A lot of their designs are um, inspired by nature. There was a whole range that was inspired by the, the river at the end of, of one of their gardens. And this is particularly lovely. So Lewis and Irene have already got their next collections coming. I know what's coming. There might be something glow in the dark coming. I'm so excited about it. I don't know if that's the next one that we get through or if we've got other ones coming. But I just love the tone of this. It's really beautiful. Uh, the sizing is perfect. It's just lovely. Really, really lovely. <sighs> oh, oh, can we not do this one, Hannah? Because I really love it and I forgot to put my order in. Can we, can we skip it? No, we've got to show it. Right, okay. It's only fair. How much, hang on, how much have we got? Only eight meters in the company. Now, I don't need to tell you why I love it. I mean, look at it, it's just absolutely beautiful. But do you want to see if I, yeah, can you see the tail? All of that sort of um, copper color shimmers. <gasps> it's exquisite. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. So this is your peacock and pear. Please feel free to leave me a meter of this. <laughs> I know, producer, I know I'm meant to be selling it, but I really like this one and I forgot to order it. Sorry. Who used it in Quilt As You Go? Oh, it was in Quilt As You Go, wasn't it? Yeah, that was what. Oh, yes, that looked gorgeous. And you know, because they use the, um, there are different colorways of this. And um, mm. you see, it's up there because they did a, um, they did a lovely lobster fabric as well, and that was one of my favorite Lewis and Irene ones as well. I love their big prints. But you see, look, you could get, yeah, we've got three colorways. So this is the other colorway. This is very pretty with the teal, isn't it? And you've still got that shimmery, shimmery. 
don't know if I can get that to shimmer. Hang on. Does it, is it, it is difficult, isn't it? It's just subtle. It's not like bling in your face. It's just like a, a little elegant, opulent touch, you know, a bit more sophisticated, isn't it? It's beautiful. Uh, do you want to see that with the, with the blue? Look, I'll put that on there, and then you can see how the colours work. We'll look at them in a second. We've got all three. Here's the third one. So this is the... Um, oh, this one's more goldy with its, um, with its colourway. The others are more sort of coppery. But look, so you can, can you see there? Can, can we get the shimmer there? Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So it's up to you which colourway you go for, or you could go for all three. R Y L W, ninety three. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, which one are you going for? Which one? Do you want to see how they look all three together? Because sometimes it's nice to have that have that contrast, isn't it? There you go. There they are, all three together. Looking nice, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. Oh, the darker blue one's particularly limited. You mean the one I wanted? Yeah, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, by the way, happy St. David's Day. Let's get him on set to celebrate. There you go. He's not... Oh, hello, Mr. St. All, uh, uh, all uh, happy St. Helens. St. Helens Day? Helen, I've just given you your own Saints Day. Congratulations. I don't know if that's legally binding. I doubt it. Uh, happy St. David's Day. I nearly said it again. Said uh, from, Hel from Helen. And back to you, Helen. I need to move on. I can't even talk this morning. I realised last night I had to go and stay in a hotel just in case the weather was really, really bad. And, uh, and firstly, they realise now, because I've been there most of the week, um, that there's no point in... Um, in even asking me my car registration number. You were very sweet, actually, on Facebook because you did assume that it was baby brain. No, I just don't know. I can't even acute, you know, just can't do that. Now, uh, this is from our brand new... What? Are we not getting this back again? We can't get any back again at the moment. Ah. Oh. So this was the panel that sold out in a matter of minutes. This was the Atlas panel. It was absolutely stunning. Lucy and I did the show, and it was gone. Uh, and we would got as much as we could. I know some of you got upset about it. We always try and get as much as we can. If we can get this back, we will. At the moment, we are struggling to get any more of this. The, we've got three different colorways here. You've got your charcoal, you've got your aqua, and then you've got your, I wouldn't say cream, but I, it is cream. Oh, there we go. Charcoal is your first one coming up. We will have a look because the only way that you could get the north, south, east, west and that compass in such detail is by having a great quality fabric. And that's what you've got here. I realise that north is possibly facing the wrong way, but forgive me on that. It's just so I can get the effect. Um, but it really is. Now, this was the most popular when we brought it to air, the charcoal one. It's just lovely, isn't it? Because it's, it, you know, it could be masculine, feminine, it, it, whoever, it's going to work. And then, oh, I was just going to move it down for you. Here we go. This is your aqua one. Now, I wanted this as tiles for my kitchen. Is that weird? Oh, no, no floor manager Chris says, no, he loves it. I, it's that colour. It's just beautiful. We, oh, we do have patterns for wash bags. Hey, and where's Father's Day? It'll make a perfect, oh, ages away. No, it, uh, no, it's June, isn't it, Father's Day? We're going to blink and we'll be there. Yeah, no, so um, if you are making anything for boys, this is the perfect range. And then you've got your cream. Actually, I like it too. I do think it's unisex, but sometimes you see, you know, you're not going to do florally ones for the boys, are you? So sometimes it's nice when we do find a fabric like this and it's like, ah, yes, this works for the boys too. Just by the number of nods around the studio, I can see that, yes, boys would be happy with this. It'd be beautiful binding. I, what about, do you do travel journals? If you go off, imagine having this as a, as a binding your travel journal. It'd be amazing. Or a memory quilt, yeah. Oh. It'd be lovely. Or maybe you've got someone that's going off backpacking. Make them a backpack out of it. Now, the fabric that we thought always went really well with this is Tim Holtz. We've got two metres of this. 
Oh no, Chris, uh, floor, floor manager Chris wanted this. We might get more Tim Holtz. Well, we'll try and get more Tim Holtz. We love Tim Holtz here. But this is difficult to get by the half meter. I've got a full meter here, lucky me. Oh, check out on this one. Oh, this was why, oh, now you see floor manager Chris wanted this because it says Stourbridge on it. And he's from that neck of the woods. He's like, yeah, that's the fabric for me. Of course, that was a region. All around here was, you know, manufacturing heavy, wasn't it? Yeah, 749. Didn't think you were going to get a history lesson, did you? Um, R-E-R-W-50. Don't worry, I didn't really listen in history, so that's all I know. Uh, lots of you just put that in that basket, but it's only yours if you actually check out your basket. Laptop and tablet cases. Yes, I've, in fact, I've got a laptop case with some of this on. Love it. Love it. It was meant to be for my husband's laptop, but I didn't measure his laptop properly. So unfortunately, it only fits mine. Unfortunate, right? Uh, that one's going to sell out, so I'm not even... I'm, I'm just going to put that in my trolley. Well done if you got it. The early bird and all that. Oh, now for something completely different. Oh, I'll move those that way. There you go, Chris. Oh. Three fabrics from Shannon New... Ooh. Is this your favourite one, Producer Hannah? I feel like I've got quite a lot of this one here. Ah, oh, now, Producer Hannah loves this one. This is your secret garden. Oh, she wants to cover a chair in it. Oh, I could see that. Yes. Someone on our fan page was covering a chaise long the other day. Imagine this. Oh, ooh. It's, um... I don't... Yeah, the colours are fantastic. I don't really know what it is. It is, it, it's, it's, it's like there are flowers in there, but then sometimes I think, well, are there feathers in there as well? It could be, it's kind of abstract, isn't it? It could be so many different things, but what it is is lovely, and those colours in there, beautiful. Cushions for your conservatory, that would be lovely. Mm-hmm. Bring the outdoors in. That's lovely. Oh, Sonia in Suffolk. Thank you um, all for getting in. It's much appreciated. Loving the show. Well, you know, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, we love to come in. Um, uh, <laughs> I did realize uh, staying at the hotel was a little glimpse into the outside world for me last night because when I, <laughs> I started getting a bit like, it's 10 o'clock and there are people still having fun. I was on the ground floor and, uh, and I suddenly realized that actually, 10 o'clock is a normal time for most people. And uh, yeah, that was, that was my revelation last night, that actually in the real world, people stay up later than 10 o'clock. This is sticking with Shannon Newland. Oh, we've got this in two different colorways. It's really different in the two different colorways, isn't it? Because that's the other one I've got to show you. But look at this. It's kind of folk arty. I like that in Shannon Newland. But look at that, those beautiful birds. Lovely. Now, wouldn't this be beautiful for some of your um, fussy cutting? Imagine having one of those birds as the central part of a quilt block. It would be beautiful. Yeah, do you know what? I like Shannon Newland too. There is that sort of paintery feel to her, and I, I enjoy that very much. This is 745, 49 rather, per half a metre. Rather lovely, isn't it? And we've got it in two different colourways. How much have we got this? Have we got lots of this left or not? Oh, 18 metres, but the way that this is going, not going to last long. Not going to last long. So if you want it, if you went into a regular fabric shop, that would be, you know, quite a lot, but not here. This is, yeah, this is the everyone across the country fabric shop. So it does go um, a little bit quicker. Now, I would really like this as a dress. Yeah, no, I would. And let's face it, as none of my clothes fit, uh, I'm, all, I'm all up for making new clothes. So here we go. That is your Shannon Newlin Redbirds fabric. This is, uh, you see, I think this has got more of a faux party feel than the other one, just because of the different colors. But I really love that red. I don't normally go for reds, but with that teals, I think it works beautifully. I really, I do really love that red and teal. Oh, yeah, we did make the poof out of this, didn't we? And it looked fantastic. Mm, 7.49, so many different ways to play with this today. 
MVRW69 hamsters. Just make a quilt. Just make a quilt. Enjoy yourself. Make a quilt. Yeah. Um, pop that in your basket. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, right. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Right. Oh, how did the liberties end up in the Miss It Miss Out? I've got some liberties coming up next. Um, the new ranges will be coming out. So this is quite a new thing for Liberty. Normally, you um, you associate with the, with the lawn weight fabric, you know, which is beautiful for dressmaking. But Liberty have now gone through their archives and decided, right, let's do a quilting weight cotton. Hooray! So we've all been waiting for. So that's exactly what Liberty have done. And we were lucky enough to launch their first quilting weight, uh, weight range, which was just superb and this is some that we have left because they're going to bring out the next i mean their their warehouse of their back catalog of designs that they can is such a wealth i mean i could spend days in there probably get lost and just have a fabulous time um but this is part of their new uh, their their first collection we're going to get ready for their next one to come along and so here we go this is your last chance miss it miss out to get this now this is quite a classic design this is your Newland Large. The original print was even smaller, but again, you can only get a, a detailed small ditzy like this if you have a fabulous starting point. And that starting point has to be a great quality substrate. That base fabric has to be superb. And there it is. That is your large Newland fabric in cream. It's a classic, isn't it? You look at that and you know you know that's Liberty. How much of this left? All single figures of this left. I'm not surprised. Whether you have other Liberty fabrics that you're quilting with or not, it's just one to have in your stash and just go, yeah. Yeah, I've got a bit of Liberty. Bit of Liberty. Even if you're just going to bind with it, you know, and just have a Liberty binding. Nice. We've got the new one in another colorway as well. This is in pink. Now, more limited on the pink. But you see, you've got all sorts of different pretty colours that you can... You see, I'm thinking baby quilts. Mind you, I'm thinking baby quilts quite a lot at the moment. But um, isn't that lovely? All of those pretty colours. Because there's purples, there's oranges, there's yellows in there, some minty greens in there. There's all sorts of different colours that you can pick out and that it's going to go beautifully with. Well, absolutely. Producer Hannah says that a Liberty quilt in, uh, baby quilt in Liberty fabric is absolutely timeless. Because these fabrics don't date. They, you know, they, they, they don't, they are as popular now as they have ever been. It's just wonderful, really wonderful. And so that's why they can go back through their pattern catalogue of, of you know, well, it's well over 100 years, isn't it? And, and it's there. It's all there. Beautiful. Ah, now, I can't believe we have any of this. Next up is Amy Butler. Now, this was my, um, on my birthday show back in August, this was my fabric of choice. Now, I sewed an entire bag with this upside down before I realized, thinking it was a lion on it, and then actually I then turned it around the right way and realized, no, it's actually peacocks, which is why it's called It Takes Two. Turn it upside down, it could be a lion. But there are your peacocks, your beautiful peacocks. And this is, um, this is the color is called bone, but I love that you can pick out those greens, those pinks, and those blues. Just gorgeous. So this is your Amy Butler, it takes two. I still have and use the bag that I made on that show. Absolutely love it. Brilliant. And it gets comments. Love it. Um, and in fact, we had this, we had a different colorway of this, didn't we? Again, for the poof show. Yeah. So a very, very popular fabric. How much do we have left? Because we did buy in a lot of this. Oh, 10 meters. Okay, not a lot left. Get in quick, get in quick. Now, the next ones, producer Hannah, this was only launched January. So this is Amy Butler's brand new range, only launched January. We've only got two from the range. We can't get it again. But I love this. I haven't even seen this in a project. That's how fast it's been in and been out and gone. Ah, oh, love it. So look at that. This is from the Night Music range. I love this. And this just launched in January and we won't be able to get it again. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, is it Amy Butler that's been on an amazing trip to India? Well, yeah, that would kind of... 
you know, make, make more sense of, of these designs, wouldn't it? Because she's very inspired by where she goes. Oh, she has. Oh, there. Oh, producer Hannah's been uh, Instagramming her. And she's been on an amazing trip to India, hence these inspired fabrics. Ah, well, that makes sense. 749. Hey, do you want to see it with the other colorway? Because I think it's beautiful. I don't even know what I would use this for yet, but I still want it. You know, some fabrics just get you like that. Then they're like, mm -hmm, I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to use you. I just need you in my stash. So the other colorway is going across the bottom. Look at those together. Yes. I know I tried to sort of line them up. Didn't really work. Um, but there you go. They are, there they are. Shall I keep them on the desk? Yeah. So this colorway here is down the bottom there. And this colorway is their fabric that only launched in January. So now this one is going to go there. Any second now. Any, any moment. Da -da! Perfect. Um, I Imagine having that as a centerpiece for, for your, your quote, fussy cutting, fantastic. Because you could have just that bit. Or you could have just that bit. Oh, where are we? That bit. Mm. There's so many opportunities. And the colorway's just spectacular. Up close, there's lots to look at from far away. Wow! So um, I think it speaks for itself how popular this range has been. The fact that this only launched in January and already it's a miss it, miss out. We can't get any more. That's it. So don't miss out. We do love Amy Butler, and actually what I notice is that a lot of other designers love Amy Butler, especially with um, some of the, sort of the bag-making Bible and things like that, all inspired with Amy Butler fabrics. Beautiful, really lovely. So again, today is Miss It, Miss Out. Don't miss out, we've already had a sellout. It's all good. But you can check out as many times as you like, and you will not incur more than 2.95 PMP per day. Oh, part four, actually, this is one point just to raise. Um, somebody the other day did because she paid with two different credit cards. You pay on the same card and, and you only pay one PMP. Otherwise, it looks like it's somebody different. But ju that's just a little thing that we discovered. I didn't, I'd never even thought of that. Right. This is Amy. Well, we're sticking with the Amy's. Clearly, this is the Amy department right now. Uh, but here we go. This is Amy Reba. Love this. It's, um, it does look like a hydrangea, but in different colorways. Oh, did you get your hydrangea in from the cold? Oh, well, I'm now wondering if I should have brought some of my plants in from... <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, your bulbs might not survive because the pot was frozen. Mm. Unfortunate. Yeah. Six ninety nine for your Amy Reba. Oh, yeah. Producer Hannah's got her, uh, her uh, olive tree in and her hydrangeas. And they're now in the back room. Well, I hope they're happy there. <laughs> She's now worried it's too hot for them. Yeah, but you did say your boiler was on the blink, so it's probably broken by now and they'll be fine. Uh, 639 UXRW86. We're living the dream here. Broken boilers in this weather. It's the way to go. Come join me in the, uh, in the hotel, Hannah. It's lovely there. Nice and warm. Um, Another message, did you say? No, it hasn't come through. Morning, Natasha. Who is it that's messaged? Oh, hello, Christina. But did what? 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 Oh, she's buying lots. Good on you. Can't fault it. So happy to expand her stash, and she'd love to live in Liberty or the Vienna. Yes. Oh yes. I'm with you there. Be amazing, wouldn't it? Um, actually, Liberty's got there's this amazing book we've got on our bookshelves, and I keep sneaking little chapters here and there when no one's looking, all about Liberty, and it's absolutely fascinating, the history. Just superb. Right, here we go. This is Dashwood. Do you know, a lot of you, just when we get bash, Dashwood, they'll just... Bashwood? Dashwood. They'll just buy it anyway. Uh, £6.50, just because it's Dashwood, and you've got all of the Dashwood fabrics. We've, they do change their collections. And also, what I like, they do, the colours do match through, um, but also, I like that this is Jilly P's design. They were always, 
always, always put the name of the designer on there. They are always credited, and I like that. So here we go. This is Julie P, and this is from your autumn rain, and this is your leaves range. Leaves from the autumn range. Rain range. I'm just going to stop talking. Come on, words. Oh, Diane in Staffordshire says, Hi, Tash. I have a snow day as school is closed. Good on you. Good on you. Um, what a treat to be watching. Finally got a cathedral cushion yesterday. So pleased, love Diane. Oh, beautiful. Are you, oh, I was going to say, going to start it. No, it won't have arrived yet, will it? Um, good on you. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to, what are you going to start today then? Because you've got time to make stuff. An extra day. This is another Dashwood one. This is, um, this is Wendy Kendall for Dashwood. Yeah, this is your kind of colourway, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just waiting. It's funny. There are certain fabrics that I know that produce a Hannibal pipe up going, that's my colours. That's for me. Oh, she just thinks lampshade. Generally or just with this fabric? Generally just thinking lampshade or with this fabric? Oh, you want to cover a lampshade in it? It would go with one you've already got. Oh, nice. £6.50. I love how on these shows we just redesign your house, producer Hannah, and mine. We've already redesigned my curtains this morning. MYAD27. That is your code. £6.50. Yeah. There you go. Now, next one. Oh, now. These are from, um, I do love these, I do love these. I feel particularly grown up when I like these. Um, but they are, we've got three from the um, Adita Sitar range. Now, she's a, she's a wonderful quilter. She comes up with all sorts of different designs, but her fabrics, exquisite, exquisite. It is grown up. It's really grown up, but really incredibly beautiful. There's only six metres of this left. <laughs> Producer Hannah says, you'll have to explain grown up. Um, yeah, I will when I get there. But look at this. It just looks like an oil painting. It's so beautiful. Really beautiful. There, look at that. When you get your country house, Producer Hannah, that will sit beautifully in it. It's classic. Oh, overlooking a moat. You're going for a moat. Or on your chaise long, Producer Hannah. We both want chaise longs, we've discovered this morning. That would look lovely. Very nice. And then you could do a cushion out of that and it would all work beautifully. Yeah. This is also um, Adita Sitar. And this is Lazy Days. I think it was her husband's family that taught her to quilt, which is really nice, isn't it? I like it when, you know, your in-laws are useful. I like that. Mine are. Well, they would be if they went on safari in Africa. My father-in-law decided to go swim with great white sharks. What's wrong with him? Why would you do that? Uh, right, so uh, less than how many metres is that? I oh, don't know. Don't know. She's gone. Oh, OK, you're checking it out already. Um, and then, you see this? Yeah. You, you know that teddy bear quilt that we did the other day? That Wouldn't that look beautiful in these? In fact, I think the one in the book did actually have it in a Adita Sitar fabric. <gasps> You see, look at this, just beautiful. But it is bringing in that wealth, isn't it? It just feels so luxurious, this fabric. Oh, Lynn's emailed in. Oh, I've lost you, Hannah. Yeah, she's emailed in saying what? Hi, Natasha, hello. She can't get to Plymouth for her hospital appointment, so she's watching us in bed. Oh, what? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know whether to say I hope you feel better soon. Are you in bed just because you, you know, don't need to get up or because, you know, you're poorly? Oh, you, oh is it just because it's cold? Oh, well, anyway, firstly, I hope you get better soon. Secondly, you know, there are worse things that could happen than have to stay home in the warm and buy fabric. Stay safe. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we're due blizzards here at midday, aren't we? So, so we're coming off air and we're just legging it. There'll be like a mass exodus out of the building. Um, set carefully in health and safety. I had to have a health and safety risk assessment for being pregnant yesterday. It was the funniest thing ever. Just, you know, were there any tight spaces I wouldn't be able to get through? I was like, uh, the desk. No, I can get through. We're, we're all fine. We're all fine. 
I did point out to my boss, I was like, well, when I was pregnant with Freddie, I was mucking out 20 horses a day. Uh, I think lifting some fabric, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Uh, now, oh, we're moving on. Now, these are Dina Designs. She's a relatively new designer to us. Not, you know, she's been designing for a while herself, obviously. But Dina Designs, if you go on her, so if you, if you sort of Instagram her and have a look, oh, some beautiful, beautiful ideas. $6.99 for Dina Designs Lotus. I can't say that next word. Tal Talavera? Yeah, not Tel Aviv. That's a place, producer Hannah. <laughs> I don't, think, I don't think that was the inspiration here. <laughs> no, no. Let's stick with the lotuses. Beautiful flowers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think, it's, again, it's got that paintery feel, hasn't it? And then you see, oh, now this is my favorite Dina Designs one. Look at this one. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's, it's inspired by the tires, uh, the tiles in, in, um, and the pottery in Tala, Tala Vera. There you go. I could never read the news. Someone said to me the other day, do you never fancy being a newsreader? No. Could you imagine the mess up I would make on having to pronounce places? It'd be dreadful. It'd be absolutely dreadful. Or even, you know, doing sports. Footballers' names, not a clue. 6 dollars for your, so sorry, I'm stuck with fabrics. Uh, Dina Designs, this is your, um, well, this is from the Bohemia range, and I just love this. Um, the background on this is, is not a solid color. It's got lots of texture through there as well. And I just, it's, it's almost like, um, it's almost like the central part of a peacock feather, isn't it? But with loads of detail in there. Oh. Uh, Geraldine, good morning in Merseyside. Oh, yeah, you're going to get snow, aren't you, up there? Hi, Tasha. I still think it's Christmas with all this snow. Uh, and you should treat yourself at Christmas, right, Geraldine? You know, just saying. Uh, making stuff for the next Christmas for my stash. Love, Geraldine. Get in the spirit. Get in the Christmas spirit. I've just organized my fabrics, and I have a whole Christmas fabric shelf. Yeah. Uh, producer Hannah says she's going to get in the Christmas spirit and just buy stuff for herself. Equally rewarding. Yes. I love that one. Now, this is Dina's Designs again. This is, um, this is like tiles, isn't it? This is... Yeah. Now, um, this, of course, works beautifully with the blues in this one here. Oh, it's a place in Brazil, is it? Oh, nice. Oh, you get emeralds from it. Oh, spot the producer that used to work in, in jewellery. And direct, director Mike, award-winning director Mike, did you used to work in gems as well? Six years doing jewellery, gosh. Gosh, there you go, I didn't realise that. Oh, well, there you go. Is that what you were award-winning for? No, okay, check it. I just know you're award-winning. Just award-winning in life, aren't you? <coughs> now, this is Dina Designs. Again, I love the pace in here. Big Faisley fan. Uh, I, I know that it's the Lotus Gypsy, but quite frankly, it's Paisley. Again, producer Hannah, they didn't refer to us when they named it. No, error. Um, Oh, did the blue, oh yeah, the blue Paisley version sold out in the very first show that we ever brought it to air. So you, you'll never have seen that again. So again, when you see this, grab it. Wouldn't that look beautiful in a, oh, in a maxi dress? Yes. Baby quilt, producer, oh, okay, it's producer Hannah's turn to think baby quilts. Yes. Which scares her quite a lot, but that's okay. That's all right, we're comfortable with that. These are all Dina designs, by the way. They're beautiful, aren't they? Mm. Oh, and this is the next Dina Designs. This is the last of the Dina Designs. Now, producer Hannah, you're going to love this, aren't you? You want this as a what? As a dressing gown. Oh, a kimono dressing gown. I could see you in that, yes. Like a house coat. 
an eccentric house coat. That would really suit you. Would you answer the door in your eccentric? What, hang on, what sort of, let's just get this whole image, okay. So you've got this as a, as a, like a 1970s house coat with a bit of a kimono cut sleeve. Okay, we're, we're getting the picture here, aren't we, at home? And, uh, and hang on, what are you wearing on your feet? What about those fluffy slippers with the fluffy bits over the top and the heel that never look comfortable? Why would anyone want them as slippers? You might have a watty heel. Some like that without the heel. Oh, more practical. Yeah. Or you could just wear your wellies that you had on yesterday. That would work because it's the same green. You could mix up those looks because, you know, you might laugh, producer Hannah, but yesterday I was out in my, uh, in my dressing gown with my wellies, you know, breaking all the water on the donkey's water and the chicken's water and the horse's water and everything else. Uh, it's a good job that my, you know, it was dark and that my neighbours couldn't see me. So, uh, you know, that was a look. Let's, they're all doing the designs. They're all going over there. <sighs> Jennifer Paganelli. I was talking about this yesterday. Or was it the day before? Uh, might, have been, uh, might have been Tuesday, because we had her fat quarter range, and I said, we had this by the half metre. Oh, we've only got five metres of it, so we won't have it for long. But we do have this by the half metre, because this is just beautiful. Just beautiful. So $6.99. Again, all of these today on the show, 100% cotton, 44 inches, salvage to salvage. You can wash them. Shirley, Shirley's messaged. She's emailed in. Hello, Shirley. Hi, Hannah and Tash and all. Hello. Our... Oh, hang on a minute. Her quilting group meets at a 14th century hall, surrounded by its own moat. Careful, because Hannah will just move in. We're so lucky. Oh, yeah, why, Hannah, why aren't you at that quilting group? Yeah, but you'd, you'd end up like staying overnight and trying to get squatters' rights, Hannah. That's not the way to get your, uh, your, your country house. She'd just move in. You'd still find her there the next week. Possibly upholstering things. Yeah, don't, don't tell her that. Dangerous. But we'd like to know where it is, because that sounds amazing. That sounds really amazing. Because then you're, you're surrounded by beautiful, inspiring things, aren't you? Oh, hey, that Adita sitar fabric would look nice there, I bet. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Ditsy floral. We all need a bit of ditsy in our life. If you're me, you have more of it than most people. Uh, just in general, everyday life. This is your Ditsy Floral. We've only got seven metres of this. This is on a blue background, and it's five ninety nine. Oh, nice for binding, yes, because of the scale of the print, but actually just one to have in your stash. Because then you've got all those different colours to mix through. You can use it as a blender. Really handy to have. And then you might want one on a lighter background, in which case we've got that covered too. Oh my word, I've just looked at the time. Gosh, I need to get a bit of a wriggle on. Um, here we go, this is your Ditsy Floral on Ivory. Greys and pinks in there, I love that soft, dusky pink. And the greys and the... Oh, yeah, just beautiful. They are your colours, aren't they, for your, for your downstairs. Okay, so just before everyone thinks that Hannah's house is just like the most colourful one on the street, it kind of is, but she's got white and grey sort of walls. And then, and that, which means that she can then have all the colours that she wants. Just, you know, before anyone wonders. Uh, now, hand-picked range. This is in navy. Now, the thing with the hand-picked range that you need to know is that it, um, it is, in fact, uh, what was I going to say, organic. Organic. This is organic, certified organic cotton, and the dyes as well. And this is the rare bit. The dyes as well are certified organic. So if you are making for little ones, dungarees, yes. Yes. When I have my baby, can I just wear dungarees all the time? Yes, producer Hannah. If you want to make them, yes. Yes. Do you know what, actually, because I have an older brother, when I was, when I was little, um, lovely, isn't it? Uh, my mum tried to put me in dresses. You know, my grandparents made dresses. She tried to put me in them. Of course, when you start crawling, knee in the dress, kaboof. So, uh, so that was it. I just had all my brother's dungarees. Um, it was, you know, he was born in the 70s. So they were brown dungarees. Nice. 
You'd love that now, right? Well, that would suit your style, producer Hannah. But you see, then you could edge and bind in the other hand-picked one with the red apples. Again, organic. Beautiful, certified organic. We really should put that in, in that, shouldn't we, so we all know. OGRW93. Organic is something to be shouted about, I feel, in this day and age. If you're into that kind of thing, everyone should be into a bit of organic. It's lovely. Nice and soft, beautiful. Uh, oh, oh, we're going to try and reorder this one. Might be a bit different, might take a while. No, oh, now, this means I've told a little fib today because I said that everything on this show was 100% cotton. This one has, I think this is an 80 20. So it's, oh, f how much? 65 cotton, 35 polyester. Okay, forget the 80 20. I'm just. But it is 140 centimetres wide. Now, this is perfect for your doorstops and your bags. Whoa, look how big that is. That's brilliant. Oh, could you imagine your kid's wash basket? Look amazing in that. Three, uh, what? 3.55 per half a metre. You need to get yourself a lot of this. Um, in Air Crew, Black Stars, even if you don't know what you're going to make out of it yet, there will be something. There will be a lot. Maybe backpacks. Love it. Yeah. Uh, right, okay, next up. Oh, these are pretty. Right, here we go. So this is your pink, lovely dusky pink. Um, and it's white ditzy florals on pink. Great price, $3.99 per half a metre. These are always popular on dressmaking shows. John Loudon. Now you see John Loudon, British designer. Very lovely. And actually, John, John Loudon, he does bring some, um, some beautiful tones. I love his tones, and that's, that's up there. What did you say about its weight, producer Hannah? Oh, it is a slightly lighter weight. Uh, so perfect for your dressmaking. Lovely for that. Uh, nice. Poor Prince. This is like my house. Again, $3.99. John Loudon. Here are your poor prints. You can't go wrong, can you? $3.99. $3.99 per half a metre. Now, someone messaged in yesterday, they were just staying home making dog blankets. There you go, make it out of that. Perfect. Lovely. You're not going to show up too much dirt either. My spaniel's booked in for his haircut next week, so I've also now had to go and buy him a new coat to keep him warm. Uh, now, here we go, which kind of defeats the object. He's booked in for a bath and a hair wash. Now, this is a slightly heavier weight cotton, but it is 100% cotton. And it's got a linen look, but it's not actually linen. It's linen look cotton, 100% cotton. It's got air crew. It is wider as well. How much wider is this than our normal 44 inches? I, I want to say 46 or 8. I don't know. It's wider. It's wider. We don't have it written down, but it's 3.99 per half a meter. And it's just, it's really lovely. We've used these in bags, haven't we, a lot, because it is a heavier weight. We will try and reorder it because it has been incredibly popular and it's really useful. It's a very useful one. Um, it just takes a while to get, it, to get it back in. So if you need it in a hurry, great for Easter projects. Lovely. Oh, my neck just crunched. Now, oh, now, here we go. This is feeling like spring. Aqua flowers on a rose background. Look at this. This, how, this is super wide. This is 150 width. This is dressmaking. This is perfect. Dungas out of this for me, let alone anyone else. Blouses, maxi dresses. Beautiful. $3.99 per half a meter. Affordable dressmaking fabric. Gorgeous. Um, I've not got time to fold that. <coughs> Just send it over here. Oh, now this is all oh, these. This is linen look, but look, I've got two different colorways. They feel quite grown up and sophisticated. Look at those, nice. Again, 100% cotton, let's go maroon to start off with. So these are the heavier weight, like we just had with the pink zigzag. 100% cotton and really quite nice and white. Ooh, and a heavier weight. So um, perfect for upholstery, cushions, bags, anything like that is gonna be very wearing and durable. Lots of you checking out on these. $3.99, can't go wrong, can you? Fabulous. And then the last one, here it is in the, in the blue. 
Here we go. So this is your blue one. Miss it, miss out, basically, we either can't reorder them or it's going to take a while and we can't guarantee that the designers won't have changed it a bit. Eked and squeaked it a bit, you never know. Uh, this is your Geo Blue. Actually, I seem to remember producer Paul really loving this one. Less than seven meters. Nice. Um, now, let's have a look at Adita Sitar. I will find it. It is very, very limited, and it's in here somewhere. La, la. Ah, here it is. One, two, three. We only had three of them. Always something that flies out. Here we go. Now, uh, the one that has the green background that's called blue. Okay. Loads of you have got this in your baskets. All I would say is if you've got this in your basket and you really want this today, please check out your basket. It's 5 99 per half a metre. Over half of what we have has already gone. Not just sitting in your baskets. I mean, like, actually gone, checked out. That is secured. Um, which one would you like to show next? This one, the other colourway. Yeah. Oh, sorry, did you want the other one? Okay, we'll get there. Uh, this is your mulberry again. Again, check out your baskets. Basically, if you have anything that says Adita Sitar, check out your basket. 5 99 per half a metre. And then the sort of ditzy version that we've got. Well, that one was the most popular. Or oh, the Lazy Days. Really, this is the most popular one. Hey, It's a very handy one, actually. It's soft and pretty. Very lovely. You're going to use this in lots of different ways. So only three meters of this left, so please check out your baskets. Check, check, check it out. 5.99, oh my word. It's miss it, miss out. Check out your basket so you don't miss it out. Um, we're up next with Deborah Sims. See you in a minute. Follow us on Pinterest. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Sewing Quarter have an exclusive, amazing price for our viewers on the Elner Expressive 920 sewing and embroidery machine. This ultimate machine is the perfect investment to help you enjoy sewing, quilting and embroidery like never before with a range of impressive features to help you every step of your project. This ultimate machine is the perfect investment to help you enjoy sewing, quilting and embroidery like never before with a range of impressive features to help with every step of your project. This top of the line machine truly has the wow factor with an embroidery speed of 1000 stitches a minute and a large hoop size making embroidery a breeze. The high resolution touch screen allows you to create your own stitches and designs and it also has an automatic needle threader for ultimate ease. The machine also includes 10 fonts for monogramming 13 one-step buttonholes and a variety of over 400 stitches, you'll be spoilt for choice. It also has an expansive bed space to allow for quilting and larger makes to make it the machine you can't live without. Elner Expressive 920 sewing and embroidery machine means you won't be able to wait for your next make. Head over to our website to find out more about our amazing exclusive price on this fabulous machine. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Join us on Monday the 5th of March when Lucy Brennan is here with two stunning designs in quilting and foundation paper piecing. Lucy will first be making her gorgeous Grecian cross quilt at 9am in bright spring floral fabric. We've created an exclusive selection of quilt and cushion kits with everything you'll need to make your very own Grecian cross so you can sit back and relax whilst you watch Lucy work her magic. At 11am Lucy is back flying high with our hot air balloon quilt while Lucy demos the key techniques you can decide which kit you want. Sunshine bright polka dots or a more dramatic airborne display of rich jewel colours. So tune in and make sure you don't miss out on these creative projects on Monday the 5th of March at 9am and 11am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Hello, 
welcome back. Now, this hour, we've got a couple of different projects for you. Deborah Sims has joined us. She's managed to make it down from Manchester. Good on you, girl. Thank you very much for turning up. Um, and so we have got a wreath for you. And um, I think decorating the table for Easter is a lovely thing to do. Uh, it just brings a little bit of color, doesn't it? A bit of fun. Um, you could have it as a table wreath. You could have it hanging up. Just, or just, you know, as an all-round, all-year bit of, bit of nice color and bit of fun. Or large earrings is your other option, or particularly oversized brooch. Uh, but however you want to use it, it's, re it's just very tactile too. God, I really like it. Uh, so lots of you already on social media going, yeah, no, no, it's the wreath show, it's the wreath show, quick tune in, it's the wreath show. Yes, it is, here it is, but that's not all we have today for you. Uh -uh. We also have for you Easter. Well, actually, you know, it could be, it could be anything, because uh, it's bundles to make your own letters because you've got all the letters in your bundle. So you could make Easter, you could make your child's name, you could do your initials, it could do sew, it could be love, it could be love to sew, whatever you like. Mr. and Mrs. Or you could do the entire alphabet for little ones learning the alphabet. Yes, you might need a couple of bundles for that. Let's start with the wreath bundle because this is always a popular one. Ta -da. So if you would like, and here it is, you get a meter and a half of fabric in here, so a half a meter of each. That's the instructions, full instructions there. Festive wreath. Well, it's just a wreath. Yeah, any, any time. Um, and if you want exactly those fabrics, well, here they are. In your beautiful florals. Fabulous. This is your Macau fabric, so they're 44 inches, salvage to salvage. And then we've got printed gingham for you here. So this is your green printed gingham. But look how beautifully it goes with the colours. This has got Easter written all over it, hasn't it? And if you want to spring up your home, then this is it. And then look at that sort of aquary colour. Yeah, you see, look, that also goes beautifully in there. And you've got the full instructions. So, yeah, it might be that you're decorating for Easter or just making your house look a bit lovely. And you get your stuffing as well and your thread. Just, you know, just to point that out. I, know, I don't put the stuffing on the table just because it gets in the way. And, um, you know, because there's so much of it. But it is in there, in your kit. $24.99. You'd pay a lot more for that in the shop, wouldn't you? A lot more. Mm -hmm. Now, your other colourway, and this is the one that we're going to be making today, um, has got, again, your stu stuffing and your thread. And then look at this one. Pretty ditzy. Pink and red in there which is ever so lovely. Um, and then we've put it with a nice cream in there. Or is that antique white? It is antique white, yeah. And then you've got your spray time in the pink. I, well, yeah, for a little girl's room, it would be very, very pretty, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. It's just a beautiful way to decorate, decorate the home. Oh, is it quite Scandinavian to decorate for Easter? But you see, I don't think you'd take this down because it's such pretty colours. I don't think you'd take it down. Once you've got that up, you know, decorate your little one's room. It'd be lovely. Very nice. The thing with fabrics is that you can freshen up your home, your whole home, can't you? You don't have to repaint or anything. Just put a new, few more colours. Beautiful. Now, here we go. Talking of freshening up your home, personalise your home. Why not? Um, we made Easter. We made it. We didn't actually make Easter. Well, we did, out of the letters. And uh, this is giving you full instructions and templates. I'm going to open this. Oh, no, I've got one open here. It's OK. It's all right. So you do get all of the letters. So you get all of the templates for all of the letters. Well, we're going to start with this. Now, we do realize, obviously, these aren't all in alphabetical order, but that's just because they don't all fit on in alphabetical order. But they are all there. And actually, great to use that as a template for applique as well. So once you've got them, you've got great big letters. You're going to be using them all over the place. Um, now, you are getting a metre and a half of fabric, so half a metre of each of these, plus your stuffing, plus your thread. Do you want to see these fabrics in detail? Yes, please. This is the one that we made Easter from. I say we. Deborah did it. Deborah did it. It's all her fault. This is uh, Macau Fabrics again, 44 inches salvage to salvage, 100% cotton. That is your printed gingham there, going beautifully with your grey spot on. 
Lovely. Silver spot, I think, actually, that's called. And then there's your spray time. I'm loving that. $24.99. Uh, you might be like Geraldine, who's making stuff for Christmas, in which case you could use those templates and obviously maybe not the yellow fabric for Christmas. But, you know, she's got a stash. Just saying. You could, you could do Christmas everywhere. Mix and match, be creative. Once you've got those templates, you're going to use them all over the place. Yes. Yes, yes. I think little ones' names are always good. Again, instructions, full instructions. I didn't actually show you the instructions, did I? I just showed you the, um, the templates. But you do get all of that. It's all coming in your pack. And then, great place to start. Even if you use them for your applique, I want to do um, alphabet bunting on Freddie's bedroom. I think that would look quite nice. Um, so lots of, lots of uses for those templates, really. Now, here we go. Oh, these are nice. I like these. Little critters. I like the squirrel. This is Michael Miller fabric. And hang on, hang on, what's that? Is that an armadillo? Of course it's an armadillo. Why wouldn't you have a rabbit, a squirrel, and an armadillo? I mean, they just work perfectly hand in hand together. Maybe that's what happens in America. They're American designers. Maybe they just have random armadillos walking around. Well, you know, what else would they do? They're not going to hop. And then you get your, um, is this the vanilla one or the linen? Linen look macaw. Oh, it's vanilla linear. That's a tricky one to say, isn't it? That's your vanilla linear. It's another tongue twister. I think they just put it on to fox me. And then your macaw spot on in the pink, in your, ca in your uh, candy. I'm enjoying that. I really like that. $24.99. VZGC00. Nice. Very nice. We're starting with the lettering, but I'm just going to. Blah, blah, blah. There it is. That's your, uh, that's your Easter. We're going to start there. Why not? It's a very good place to start. La, 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 la. Hello, Deborah. Hello. Thank you ever so much Mwah. for coming in today. Now. Yeah. Normally, people know you off to Great British Sewing Bee. Yes, indeed. But you're going to do some um, crafty craft bits. Sewing. Yeah, crafty things. Because once you can sew, you can sew anything, quite yes, frankly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I like that theory. Yeah, definitely. Now, I was thinking um, you could do your daughter's name. Yeah, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Very, Very nice. nice. On a shelf in a room. Nice. Yeah. Or, on, or on, on a bed or something, you know. Oh, yeah, so if you applique it, yeah. Mm, yeah, very nice. Um, oh, someone's tidied up their sewing room. Oh, you were talking about sewing up, uh, tidying up uh, your sewing room. Yes, yeah, I'm going to do in, uh, when is that, April? I'm going to do up my room, do the floor, new curtains, all the things. It's going to be really nice in there. Yes. Make myself a little home. Nice. To do all my sewing in, yeah. You deserve it. Thank you. Do I think it. so too. <laughs> so where do we start with these? Are they easy? Okay. Yes, easy peasy. Okay. Um, the hardest bit is the sewing um, on the machine because it's just a little bit tricky getting around the bends, but I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. Um, first things first, we've traced our template. So I have an E. So again, yeah. these templates are going to be coming in very, very handy. Yeah. Do you just have to make sure you know which way round to Yeah, trace? exactly. So when you have it right side to right side, let me show you on the fabric. You want to make sure you've got one cut out now that they are, way. They're printed on both sides, so you might want to... You might want to trace yours. Oh, yeah, you will definitely trace yeah. them. I just did this because I, I, I went through you and I knew I, could, I wasn't going to cut over each other. Yeah. yeah. So you do that one way on that side, but then for the, for the alternate one, you want it on the wrong side. Aha. Uh -huh. so do it that way. That way. Yeah. Excellent. That means you've got one can sit over the other and wrong sides can go together. And you like know that. that it's all going to be good. Yeah, in sewing, you have a right side and a wrong side. Right side being the one that's colourful, the wrong side being the one that's slightly Not. more faded. Yeah. Yes, the one you don't want to see. Yeah, and they, they do use that throughout the pattern. So, And I think they actually use like a WS for wrong side and RS, but that's wrong side and right side. And that's, that. I mean, that's quite a common abbreviation. Yeah, isn't people, it? yeah, it's yeah. So you often used in patterns. Okay, so Alrighty. next bit is to cut a strip to go between the layers so sort of to make that 3D effect. Yes. So I've just got a two inch 
strip to And is that all here. it is? Just a two inch strip? It's just a two inch strip, yeah. Excellent. Easy peasy. There we go. Try and, I'm going to do the full length of this fabric. They mm. say cut enough for, to go around your whole letter, but until you start sewing, you're not going to know you how long know that how letter much. is. Uh, so I would, I would just get a nice long piece. Right. You can kind of, you know, put it next to it and kind of do a bit of guesstimation, but I would just get a long piece. And then if you get to the point where you think you're running low on fabric, leave yourself a gap and then you can just add a join in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that works. Yeah, because once you've cut it, it's easier to sort of work it round. Yeah, round the edge, isn't exactly. It? Yeah. And you don't want to make too firm a decision on it and then actually end up um, cutting it too small or too big or um, whatever. Yeah. And then you get to the end and you think, oh, that was annoying. <laughs> That's how I work how anyway. Annoying. How, annoying. how annoying. Yeah, exactly. So. We've all done it though, haven't we? Yeah, we have. I do that sort of thing all the time. Cut things the wrong size, shape, upside down, inside out, you know. My grandmother always used to say, measure twice, cut once. And I can still hear her saying... Yeah, it's a very twice. good system. It's just when you're in a hurry... Oh, I generally when you, hear her in my head after I, I haven't. have done it wrong. Go, oh, yeah, no, that's why she said it. Oh, yeah, that's why, it. She, that's why she said it. Yeah. Um, do you know what? I'm going to give you a rotary cutter with a, uh, a, a fresh blade. Oh, nice, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do that. There we go. Love Done. That. I'm just going to press this because you can see the creases in the fabric. And once it's made, you can't really press it very well because of the, all oh, the yeah, things. Oh, yeah, because it's 3D. Yeah, exactly. So. Uh, top tip there. Producer Hannah said she would have forgotten and just had a crinkly letter. Yeah. Nobody wants a crinkly letter. Nobody well, wants a crinkly letter. Well, you might want a crinkly letter. I mean, we're making vast sweeping generalisations. <laughs> but I'm going to assume... How dare you want a crinkly, crinkly letter. letter? There we go. <laughs> right. So... The best plan, I think, so you've got your right sides together, make sure it's the right way around, that's the back. Okay. There we go. You can see with this one, if I put it, put it up, I put it down actually like that. Um, you can see there is actually a direction that the pattern goes in. Oh, so if I stitch it that, that way, way, so you can see it should be up that way, yeah? So that must be the back one. Right, I'm with you. And that one must be the front one. Uh -huh. That makes sense. Yes. Um, so just try and keep an eye on that when you're working. Because you've got three different fabrics in each of these kits. So you did alternate with the Easter. Yes. You did with the spray time um, yellow to the front and then gingham to the front on um, on alternates, which is, is a nice a nice little detail because yeah. none of the fabrics were left out. Yeah, exactly. And you, you've, 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 you've bought three fabrics you like, so why not show them off? I'm with basically. you. Basically. I'm yeah. with you. Um, but it's up to you whether you want to do them all on one side or on the other side. Now, what are we doing here? I am just pinning it very slightly in the sections that are going to be the hardest bit to turn curves. around. Yes, the curves here. If I am a newbie, uh, a newbie sewer, yes. am I going to be all right with these curves? Honestly, am I going to be all right with these curves? I think you need to practice first. Okay. So right. get yourself a couple of practice letters and just take your time with it and make sure you're comfortable before you start. Okay. Other than that, you'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Um, let me show you how to do one. So I've just done this first curve here. So you don't pin the whole thing. Don't pin the whole thing because it's going to be impossible to... You're going to get in you your own way. I mean, get in your own way, yeah, exactly. Okay. So you might as well have it out of the way and start fresh. Okay, yeah. so little bit by bit. Yeah, and I've just gone upside down as well. I want to go this way, actually. Do, do, do. Um, half of the stock of this bundle, well, this, this Michael Miller one that we're using has gone. It is very Eastery, though, isn't it? It's beautiful. Mm. Oh, and make sure you trim off this. Uh, Can so you please, see here? Oh, oh, go ahead. Please make sure you check out your baskets. Um, Deborah's just about to trim off the salvage. I am, because otherwise you'll have salvage. So, the code for this, VZGC00, and that's 24 99 So, if you are after the springtime one with the armadillo, I love that there's an armadillo in there. I'm really taken with that. It's very exciting, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not your everyday animal, is it? No. An armadillo. Slightly more unusual. Like, what pets do you have after an armadillo? Got an armadillo. We had a lady messaging yesterday, Jill. Mm -hmm. She had 50 guinea pigs. Ooh. 50 guinea pigs. That's a lot of guinea pigs. Don't they it make is. a little noise as well? That's going to be a house. squeaky peepy -pee Yeah, like a loud house. Yeah. I assume she doesn't keep all of them in her house because that would be a busy house. I don't know. Yeah. 
it's exciting, isn't it? I'm just going to make my seam allowance. So you want it to be, the stitch length to be fairly small so you can get around those corners nice and easy. Okay. So I'm just coming up to a corner now. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to wait for the camera to catch up with me. There we go. So all I'm going to do is just take my time, go really, really slow. Um, this machine has the turtle and hair on it. So you we love can a turtle go, and hair. You can go all the way down to turtle if you're feeling more comfortable doing that. I like to keep it on turtle because I'm a bit of a... Once I get going, I, I kind of put my foot down and accidentally finish the whole thing in a bit of a mess. So I like to force myself to slow down. The turtle and hair is just the speed control on your machine. You may have it, you may not. Um, if you don't have it, then just go slow. Yeah, just take your time. There you go. Okay, so just place your fabric over the, se neck, the seams next to each other. I don't know if you can really see that very well. Yeah, but it's a bit better. Yeah. And then turn it round nice and slowly. And then you'll find that you hit the corner, the Carefully. bend. Carefully hit Carefully that corner. Carefully hit the bend. So what you don't you, you want to you don't want to go right off the edge. Okay. Just stop just before you get to that curve. These do have lovely gentle curves actually on them, don't they? Yeah, exactly. So then you lift your foot up, turn it slightly and just make sure those edges are matching again. You will have a bit of excess on this side. Just make sure that try that lays flat as much as possible. Okay. There we go. And then keep going. What I really like is that actually one of our professional sewers mm -hmm. going slow. Go, hey, take your time, it's fine. Phyllis in East Lothian, she's another one that needs to go nice and slow this morning. She says, morning, in bed watching your lovely makes. We are in the red weather warning area, so staying in. Loving the show, Phyllis, stay safe out there. In there, don't go out there. Yeah, don't go That's out there. That's the whole there. point, isn't it? Yeah. You're gonna go out. Just stay in there. Just and keep warm. In your bed. For goodness sakes, don't go out. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Yeah, no, exactly. I've got animals, I've always got to go out. Oh, that's hard work. It is. You know, buckets and buckets of warm water. Yeah. Going Do they drink warm water? Um, in it's the cold? quite cold by the time that I've put it over the ice. Oh. <laughs> it all equals out. It all, just yeah. makes for a generally cool temperature. Yeah, no, it's, it's just fine. maybe a hot drink. Although, actually, you know, the donkeys, <laughs> Gert and Daisy, the donkeys, they do enjoy a nice warm drink. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're, they, they like to tell me they're Mediterranean creatures. They're like, we're not built for this weather. What's no. going on? So they just stay in their donkey palace. It's all fine. So gently does it around these corners. Yeah. And then um, you have chosen possibly the most number of curves that you could possibly uh, yeah, do with a letter. Yeah. I did want to show curves, and that is definitely what I'm doing. <laughs> so that's good. In for a penny, in for a pound. Yeah, exactly. If you can't do a curve after you've seen this letter, <laughs> there's no hope. Yeah. Yes. It's all over. But you see, nice and easy. Round we go. There's no rush. There's no rush. It's snowing, you don't have to go anywhere. Phyllis, Phyllis is staying in. Yeah. I think people misinterpret fast for good as well with sewing. You know, if you, if you can make something quickly, people think that you're very good. But actually, if you know when to take your time, you're going to have something a lot better, even know if you're a your professional. Know your limits. Yeah. That's the thing, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. You know, it doesn't matter how professional you are. Producer Hannah has also pointed out this is your hobby, so you should be enjoying it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't be a stressful situation. Yeah. You know, I think sometimes we forget this because we do hour-long shows and we're always in a hurry to finish the project. And you yeah. Know, actually, you're at home. Take as much time as you just, need. Just go slow. Yeah. It's all good. Have a cup of tea halfway through. Oh, and a piece of cake. That's what I would do. Yeah, me too. Definitely. Me too. I, I think I need a bit of that at the moment. A bit of, or like, cake. relaxing, oh. relaxing sewing. Some well, you've kind been of up like... making for us, haven't you, late into the night? Yeah, late into the night at the moment, yeah. Are you a nighttime sewer or a morning sewer? Which is your preference? Preference is probably nighttime. I oh, like okay. to kind of go sit, chill, put something on TV. It's nice. great. Yeah, love it. We see them, the little ones are in bed, aren't they? So yeah, exactly. It's... It's, a lot, it's a lot easier to do things when Evelyn's asleep. Now, um, what is Evelyn going to Wellbrook Day as this morning? She's going as the girl from If I Had a Dinosaur. Right. So she's got a little pretty dress on and she's taken a red dinosaur with it to nursery Perfect. today. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. I got a good picture this morning. Did you up. Did yeah. you get one sent by your husband? Yes, I did. Yeah. I'm still waiting he did his job. Mine. Stephen, where's my photo of Freddie <laughs> as, as, um, as Paddington Bear? You see, we had the choice taken from us. Yeah, that's Which what, I was yeah. really relieved by because Freddie's school is 60 this year 
Um, and so they went, well, Paddington's also 60 this year. So for World Book Day, which is today, as well as St. David's Day, or St... Who did I try and attribute it to? St. Mary, was it earlier? I, I, oh, Helen. No, St. Helen was... I just tried to give somebody a saint's day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got my words confused. Um, then, uh, yeah, so they all had to go as Paddington. I quite like morning. my choices being taken away from me, though. It's quite nice, isn't it? And it makes it easy, doesn't it? Daffle yeah. coat, red hat, bosh, easy. off you go. Done, sorted. Red wellies, in you get. Yeah. Brilliant. Which happily he had anyway. Oh, yeah. That's the thing about costumes. You end up buying lots and lots of things, don't you? Yes. OK, so when you come to a corner, just make sure you go up and do the full 90 degrees at once. With the bend, you so take you have tiny little increments with the corner, full pivot round really? in one go. Just yeah. do it. Just go for it, yeah. And you will end with a tiny crease, but just try and make sure it's not under your sewing needle. It'll okay. be behind it. Yeah. And then you shouldn't... Pick up that so crease in your stitches, yeah. yeah. Now, I'm just going to mention, whilst you carry on doing this, mm -hmm. because and thank you for picking one that has 90-degree <laughs> bends and curves. No, 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 no it's, it's good, fine. because that's where people would stumble. Um, but we've had lots of people ask about your ruler. Well, it's our ruler, but, we, you know, mm -hmm. we share. It's all good. And uh, this ruler today, very, very handy. It's a very handy length. It's 18 and a half inches. And it is your three and a half inches wide. And so you can, you can fold your fabrics and do it in one, one first week, because you're going to need nice, lots of nice little strips. So very good for cutting your binding strips as well. Sometimes you don't want a massive, great big ruler to wheel around the place. It's getting the right ruler for the job. And this is 1999. Might be one of the first ones that you get. Very handy one. So 1999 ZCCQ36. Good size. Okay, nearly finished. Home stretch. So actually, it hasn't taken very long, no, has it? No, not do at all. Possibly the most complicated letter <laughs> in the alphabet. There we go. No, I like this. Go big or go home. Yeah, exactly. You know. No, we didn't just pick an I. We didn't. No. No, 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 no. It's for us. All curve. There we go. Well, you know, I like this because when you get home, E's are, I mean, E is one of the most popular vowels. Yep, very true. You're going to have to do an E at some point, aren't you? Generally. <laughs> That's the thing. Deborah's going to make you do a vowel at some point. Everyone has to do that vowel. Yes, yes, yes. And yep. E is Enforced probably up there. Enforced sewing. That's the way to do it, isn't it? There we go. Enforced vowelage. <laughs> it's all going on. Right. So, straight down. Is it fun? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Now, um, Obviously, you don't have your kit yet because you've only just bought it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, even our post can't happen that quickly. Sadly. So, yeah, wouldn't it be great if it, it could just great. be teleported yeah. into our homes like Mike TV in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate oh, Factory. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we can't. So when you do get this, just make a, le a note of the day and then you can go onto YouTube. All of our shows get streamed live onto YouTube and then they're there. They're just there forever. Um, so you can just make a note of today's date, the hour of the show, and just put sewing quarter, today's date. Obviously, like, right in the actual date. Yeah. We realised yesterday we didn't actually know what the date was. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's the first... Oh, it's the first. Pinch patch first is. of the month and all that, isn't it? First of March. Oh, also, the, the bundle that you're using, the, the springtime one, oh, we're down to single figures. So if you were after the Michael Miller one with the armadillo, it has other animals but you're just going to be fixated. Well, I feel like maybe you are. I'm stage. fixated by the armadillo. Uh, there are other springtime animals, such as squirrels and, um, and bunnies. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. So when I started out, I left an excess at the very beginning of my oh, roll. Oh, OK. Like a, a little bit, about centimetres wide, yeah? And then what we're going to do now is then, when I've finished sewing, I've then put my the end of it and cover that over. Let me show you better that way. Oh, so, so you've folded doubled it over back. your fabric. So no raw edge there. No raw edge. And that's the bit you'll see, so no yeah, raw edge there. Exactly. So you folded it back. That one's folded, that one's stitched over the top of it, like that. Yeah. And then when we do the next letter, we're going to stitch straight across that. So that's a bit that like way. an envelope back on yeah, a quilt. Yeah, exactly. A cushion. Yeah, and that's the hole that you stuff with. Nice. So you want to stuff into there. Yeah. Oh, so this then, is going to be fun to stuff. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, because you were sensible. You did it part way down 
the straight stretch. Yeah. You see, if this was me, I probably would have left it Put somewhere, it somewhere really here. stupid like there. <laughs> yeah. And then gone, I can't, I can't stuff everything. Stuff have it, but yeah, if you do it here, you Be can sensible. get up and into all of the corners. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the difference between, like, I, I tend to just go all in sometimes, just start start doing it, and then later I realise that I should have done something differently. Or read the instructions. Or read the instructions, yeah. yeah. Always yeah. good to read the instructions. Hate it when those instructions are right. I actually do, I tend to, I'm a bit of a reader of instructions, are you? Are you? Yeah, no. I love a set of instructions, really. No, no, I hate instructions. Do you just go, why are you telling me this? No, I just get confused. <laughs> you don't know. So that's why, um, that's why it's great for me that we have shows, because I'm a visual learner oh yeah of course yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm borderline dyslexic so for me reading instructions it's get a bit confused yeah. so i like pictures that's a good idea yeah oh elizabeth hello elizabeth oh she says are the templates included for the whole alphabet love the kit yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. we're not going to force you to do easter you can do any letter you like you get the whole alphabet that's why you know you can personalize you could do so you could do your name now you see elizabeth she's got two e's in there Oh, that's good. Yeah, see? So it's a good job we're seeing the E there. Um, or it might be that you've got grandkids and you want to do this for their bedrooms and things like that. Maybe they're learning the alphabet. Freddie is obsessed with the letter F. It's a good Everywhere letter. Everywhere we sit. It's my letter, Mummy. It's my letter. But yeah, he's not into He does actually have to share it with other people. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's no. his letter. It's all the Christmas from now on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All his. Well, that's the very toddler way of thinking about life, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yes. Everything belongs to them. Nothing really belongs to anyone else. If they like it, it's theirs. Then yeah. that's, that's it, really. <laughs> and that's that. Take not that much you can do. Yeah. 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 Slightly awkward in shops. Sometimes wish you could be a little bit more like that in life. As long as it doesn't get you in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Evelyn's a bit obsessed with the nice lady in the shop or the nice man. So it's all right because you can take something off her and say, oh, we'll give it to the nice lady. And she's like, oh, oh well, if it's the nice lady, then, then, then that's maybe okay. that's OK. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. <laughs> so we're not pinning this time. We're just going straight in. Straight in. And manipulating as we go. Yeah. If you felt more comfortable, could you pin? You could pin. I would, um, rather than pin, I would probably say tack it. Oh, okay. Down, and um, just because it's the, the curves start to get harder because you've you've already got they're quite tight actually, aren't they? So you could hand tack. Yeah, and if you want to give yourself more room to manoeuvre, you can always add in extra seam allowance because the templates don't come with seam allowance. You have oh, so to the add seam that allowance on. is your choice. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, producer Hannah says she would be likely to just sew through all of it by accident. Yeah. Is it just a matter of taking it slowly, turning, getting it all out of the way? Yeah. Yeah, you see, look, Producer Hannah, every time Deborah stops, she's manipulating that fabric out of the way, making sure she's not sewing through it. Having said that, we'll probably jinx it and you probably will now. Yeah, but, probably you know, definitely will do that yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that seems But fair. we can always unpick things, it's fine. Yeah. Quite enjoy just, a bit of unpicking. Quite therapeutic. Just as well in my yeah. house. Yeah, that's true too. In, um, when we were on the sewing bee, you had to hide the fact you were unpicking something because as Did soon you? as they saw an unpicker, they ran across the oh, room to, see what to come and see what you'd done wrong. Yeah. Everybody likes it when it goes yeah. a bit wrong. So, and you're going a bit wrong anyway, so you're, all, you're a bit like... Flustered. Stressed and tense, and then you think... So there was some sneaky unpicking? Oh, yeah, always. Sort of under the desk, like... No one will know. But they always found out. Is. Cameras everywhere. But... It's a bit George Orwell, isn't it? Yeah. Cameras everywhere. Cameras everywhere. Gosh. Makes for good TV, though. Well, That's you know, the thing, isn't it? I used to work at the theatre down in Stratford at the Royal Shakespeare Company, and, uh, and the audiences just used to love a show that went wrong. <laughs> yeah, I remember... Um, oh, is it, was it... Best uh, night ever. Yeah. It all went wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, one, one, um, one show, it was The Tempest, and, uh, and one of the actors cut his hand lying <gasps> on the stage, and we had to get him off and get him to hospital. Um, so, yes, it must have been Tempest because we had Caliban under the stage who was in full body makeup. Well, of course, <gasps> as soon as an actor goes off, you have to get the understudy up. Mm -hmm. And so they all have to change. They all have to massive. I mean, I was working in the wardrobe department, so oh, it was yeah. a massive costume change. Everybody had to change their costumes. The actors are frantic because they've now got to remember different lines. Yeah, they're hoping they can remember that. <laughs> Not only that, but Caliban was in full body makeup. We had to put him in the shower and scrub him down. Oh, gosh. On about the job description. And, uh, and then, you know. Get him dressed, get him and, dressed back and back on, on stage. stage. Loved it. Absolutely wow. loved it. 
Yeah. Uh, Julie says, hi, Nurse Julie here. Oh, you know, you see, that's a lady you want in this weather, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to walk to work yesterday. Can I just, uh, Julie, can I salute you? You know, nurses, doctors, all of the emergency staff in this weather, thank you for walking to work. Um, it was awful. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no hiding that. No, there's there. no hiding. But it was awful, it anyway. though. You did it. You did it anyway. Yeah. Good on you. Uh, bye. Uh, but it was awful, by the way. Great show. Okay. <laughs> awful and great show, in the, same, great show. In the same line here. Having a worry. No, the show's great. Uh, yes, it was awful. Good. Um, just, no, not the show. Just, oh, no. <laughs> what are you, you saying now? I don't know. Okay. You've got yourself on Yesterday the Yesterday was awful when Julie had to walk to work. This is a great this show. This is a great well, show. it was. It's <laughs> Possibly it's completely gone. Uh, <laughs> just relaxing today with the wood burner on and a cuppa. <sighs> you did it. You made it all the way through that. I don't know why that was difficult. That sounds delightful, doesn't it? it wood burner. Amazing. Yeah. It's idyllic. As long as you've got the wood in. Yeah, every time it snows, I think, oh, where could I fit a fireplace in my house? Yes. Where could I, have, where could I have a fire? We went and they blocked up all the fireplaces. <gasps> no, How rude. That is rude. My mum said, can you just get one of those electric ones that looks like a faux fire? No, oh, it's kind of sad, though, isn't it? There's nothing more sad than a pretend fire. I know, and it should be real. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You're going to go Health for it. safety, apparently. Yeah. Oh, just so I know, the bundle that Deborah's working with, yes, the springtime armadillo. When everyone's checked out their baskets. There's only two left. Oh. Okay, so we are getting close to that tipping point where we have more of you with it in your baskets than we have stock. So if you want your springtime armadillo, as I'm now calling it, um, yep. it's $24.99. I don't know why I wasn't called that in the first place. And the yellow bundle, which is very Eastery. I love the, the, mm. um, the gray and yellow I really like together. But actually also for baby names, yeah, nice and neutral. Yes. Lovely. Yes, yes. Because you don't always know if they're going to go full out blue or pink no. in nurseries and stuff. Exactly. The bundle for the yellow one. We're in the teens. In the teens? We, in the teens, but we haven't nice. really seen it. No. Um, so I like it with the chick. If you bought the chick yesterday, and actually with the, um, with the daffodils looking good. Yeah. What are we doing? So I am doing... Clipping my corners. You've got all of these bends to go around You've now. got a corner or two. Yeah, a few bends to go around. And if you want them to be smooth around that edge, yeah. you best to clip little, little triangles or little snips into mm -hmm. where the, the biggest curves are. Okay. Don't put them too close together. Probably about a centimetre's width. Okay. Is that three-eighths of an inch, isn't it? About a separate from each other. So I'm just going to go around. And I'll do that on one side so you can see the difference. Oh, now, producer Hannah asks a very good question. Can mm. you use pinking shears? The seam allowance is so small. But you chose you might... your seam allowance. Yes, so you could make a bigger seam allowance and then... And then pinking and then shear pinking around the corners. Around corners yeah. you'd be, it'd be harder to do the inside corners because you probably wouldn't get your scissors in there. Yeah, you've but got you to snip But you could definitely do well. all the way around these outside ones. And you've got to do that top and bottom. Yes. Okay. Whilst you do that then, Andy and Five says, thank you, Sewing Quarter team, for making it into work today. Our pleasure. It hasn't really hit us that badly. We're only minus six, uh, but we haven't got the blizzard <laughs> yet. Only minus six. <laughs> Not a big deal. This is, uh, oh. Great show, Natasha. You're glowing and looking great. I love uh, Sewing Quarter Snow Days. Well, thank you very much. It's blusher, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> a glowing... I'm still waiting for the magical... Well, I think glow. no one can see it in themselves. Other people can see it. I think, because oh. I never felt like I was glowing, but people always said I was, so I think I was just warm. Yes, yeah. so <laughs> You know, it is a bit warm in the studio It was today. summer, so I'm I was so boiling. I'm so glad that they did actually get around to fixing the aircon in here, yeah. uh, and that we've actually got heating, but now it's a bit much. I spent my life being cold. We've got five more minutes on this, Yep. and then we're going to um, change over to the wreath. Fabulous. So just snip, snip, snip. Snip, snip, snip. I'll do as much snipping. I'm going to do one side, okay. and then hopefully you'll be able yeah. to see the difference on the other side. So, very quickly finish. I love the springtime armadillo. Go straight into the corners as well, rather than going round. Just be careful how close you get. Yeah. Close, you, but not too close. Because you can end up cutting right through the, the stitches, which isn't fun. Right, there we go, that will do. Excellent. And then we're gonna turn it out through the little envelope we created earlier. Da, da, da. So, I kind of did it with one finger in, and then, 
pull it through. I love a turning out, do you? Um, no, I, it's my worst part. Really? To be honest. Yeah. I quite like the fact that it kind of goes, it's a bit of a ta-da moment, isn't it? It is, but I'm a bit ham-fisted. So ah. invariably I rip a stitch or something yeah, and that's go, quite sad. rather than ta-da. And then you've got to start again, which and is a bit sad. So, um, oh, uh, then, then, yeah, okay, Ruth in Tyne and Weir says, Morning, ladies, well done for getting into work. The letters look great, but I can't work out how you do an O or an A. Yeah, do you know what, you, you have tips for that? I do, I do. So, when I did the first A, I tried doing this, turned it out, and then realised it won't turn out because you've already sewn so the hole. The so I ended up with an unpicker. Don't, don't be like me. Um, <laughs> learn from, learn from my mistakes. mistakes. Um, That's why we make them. So yeah, you basically, you do the first side so do the whole of one edge yes edge to edge and do the whole as well but then when you do the other side mm -mm. don't stitch that down leave okay. that open so that will then be the last thing you stitch and you hand stitch that yeah i hand stitch it i stuffed it half stuffed it first mm. to make to show to give you that structure to work around to stitch around and then Stitched around the outside and then re and then filled it a little bit more afterwards. Yeah, because Ruth, you'd you'd have that with your with your R, wouldn't you? R R. Yeah. So you should be able to. <laughs> We've just made her a pirate. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, Ruth. <laughs> Ruth's not a pirate. She's not a pirate. It's not world book unless it's world book day and she's gone she to might work be a as a pirate. Well, I mean, uh, producer Hannah's um, flatmate has gone as a burglar. Really? Yeah, burglar Bill. That's brilliant. I'm, did she walk to work, Hannah? She gets the bus <laughs> even better. That's going to be good. Even better. I think anything with makeup on the bus is the way forward. My last really. year of teaching, I was teaching English. And so World Book Day, obviously everybody else goes as really sophisticated characters. Oh, you yeah. know, something out of a Charlotte Bronte book or anything. Me? No. I went as Eeyore in oh, a full donkey outfit. That's fantastic, though. Yeah. And then, you know, they're like, Natasha, you know, this is Stratford von Avon and, uh, you know, Shakespeare and all that. I'm yeah, like, OK, can yeah, I either Eeyore pretend though? to be Bottom the Weaver out of A Midsummer Night's Dream? Yeah. Or I was teaching Animal Farm, actually, I think. So oh, that's fine. Yeah, so it's just the donkeys from there. Yeah, it's fine. So it's, it's, it's all good. So my back, but it was, it was Eeyore. If Everyone I pop Eeyore. that down here, actually, like that, yeah. I can show you that on this side. Mm -hmm. Just wait for them to pop in. There we go. On this side. You can see that it's a nice curve yeah. around there. There's a nice bend. And do you, you do that? It, you do that nice I've thing just where you sort of it between roll my it fingers. fingers. Yeah. yeah. And I, even if you do that with this side, you can. Can you see? There's got little puckers here that you can't really see them very well, but there's sort of angular bits. Yeah. And that means it's just harder for you to get that smooth bend round. And that's just because we didn't have time to clip that. Especially that side as oh, well. Oh, you can see it in you the internal there. bit. The big, there's a big fold there. Okay. Whereas on this one. It should, yeah, go inside that like that. Fab. And it'll sit nice. Back. And so then you just stuff. Stuff. And I'll just show you a tiny bit of stuffing because I know we're probably finished in time, aren't we? We are, yeah, we are, because we've got we're gonna have a look at the um at the uh wreath. Fabulous. So I'll you just stuff into that. there, push in, push it right into the corners, like that. You see, this is where you were sensible and you left your um, envelope right in the middle of the yeah, back. So. Right. so you can get into all the corners, do that, and then you just slip stitch that closed. And then you're nice. done. Beautiful. Nice. Lovely. Job done. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, right, that's part of our house decorated then for Easter or any other occasion or names or anything else like that. Um, I'm just going to go and show you now all the wreath bundles. So I'll let you, you know. Yeah, fabulous. Rejig. Rejig. And zhuzh. And I'll be back in a minute. Uh, so... Uh, basically, has the springtime armadillo gone now, producer Hannah? Has the springtime armadillo basically gone? Well, mm, there's a, like a, it's baskets. So if you've got it in your basket, please check out. Otherwise, you're not going to get it. Right, this is your wreath. We're going to do this next. And we're going to recap all the bundles. So let's start over here. If you want to make that wreath exactly in those fabrics, and a load of you have already uh, checked out your basket, so I'm going to assume, yes, you do. 2499 WXGC66 is your code. I love that the ginghams go so beautifully. Over half of the stock has already been checked out, but look how beautifully those two ginghams go with that. Isn't it lovely? Springtime. You can't beat a bit of springtime gingham. Happy days, good for the soul. Um, or if maybe you want to go for a pinky version, 
And then, you know, doesn't have to be just sort of Eastery. Could just be, I love producer Hannah's idea of having this in a, in a little girl's bedroom, just as, a, as a, an ornament that isn't going to break when your son decides that footballs work indoors. Um, and then you could applique all sorts of different things. Maybe you want to applique stars or stuff on there. So spray time pink, you've got your, um, I want to say antique white, so I'm going to. It might not be, I think it is. And then you've got your, um, your flowers there and your instructions and your thread and your stuffing. Yes, all in there. Now, um, let's just recap these letters then very, very quickly. Just please check out your baskets. The yellow one, um, I, f I feel they haven't had quite the attention that the springtime armadillos have. So here we go, these are your gingham. You've got yellow gingham in there which works beautifully with the silver spot on. I love yellow and gray. It's a timeless combination, isn't it? And then we are on single figures of this one as well, so please check out your baskets for this one. $24.99. You get the full alphabet. We, we haven't dictated what letters you can do. You can do all of them. It's entirely up to you. You get the full alphabet, instructions, thread, stuffing, everything. You go for it. Whatever you fancy. We went Easter because, you know, there are Easter eggs in the shop, so therefore it's Easter. Mind you, they have been since January. Um, now, if you want your armadillo springtime bundle, then you need to be incredibly quick. And that's $24.99. Please check out your basket on that. That's the only way to secure it. I wonder what sort of bird that is as well. VZGC00. There we go. And uh, here we go. This is everything you're getting in that kit. $24.99, all of the alphabet, instructions, thread, stuffing, and of course, a meter and a half of beautiful fabric. Now, let's have a look at this wreath in action. I'm uh, quite into da, 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 da. <laughs> You know, in, um, in ye olde times, they yeah. used to have little, little things full of lavender, so that, because obviously they didn't have deodorant and stuff. Oh, I love it. I didn't know that. Yeah, no, no, so they didn't smell quite as bad. That's exciting. Um, you know, you could always put some lavender in there, oh, couldn't you, to yeah, make it smell delish. Okay. In your rooms. So basically we've uh, got sausages. The fabric sausages, yeah. <laughs> that we're calling them apparently. Um, and what I've done is I've stuffed them. So I've stitched them closed, right sides together, and then I've stuffed them down. So I want now to show you the stuffing. Now you cut this salvage to salvage. Yes. And then how wide is it cut? Four inches, I believe. Four inches, and then you just sew them, salvage to salvage, right sides Five together. Five and a quarter inches. Five and a quarter inches. Very specific, yes. But, so, well, yeah. You want to get the right, right sides sausage. together and then stitch them all the way down. So what I'm going to do is just get this toy stuff in. Full instructions there. Yeah, and it does tell you in the instructions how to do this, but basically, don't try and don't close one end and then try and stuff all the way to the bottom because it'll be gonna basically out. impossible. Um, put a pin in the centre right. of, of your um, strip, stuff up to the pin, yeah. take the pin out, and then yeah. stuff from the other side up to the pin. And then you'll end up with no gaps, and also you can, you've can you not had to stuff it all the way that to the That is a end. top tip. Yeah, and it's in the instructions, so you should be able to see it from there oh, as well. I was going to credit you with that. Well, uh, I'll take it if you want. Brilliant. And, and then you get even even fabric sausages. Yes, exactly. Actually, so. we did think the one of these looked like an elephant's trunk this yes, morning. Yes, it does as well. There was, there was a bit of that going on in the office. So I've now got a knitting needle for the blunt end. We call that Derek the Dobber. Derek the Dobber. You could also use a wooden spoon, which is what I used at home. Basically, any, any blunt instrument. And then just use it to push that down. So, how stuffed do these need to be? You don't want to overstuff it okay. because if it's very stuffed, it won't bend around your plait. Okay. So you want it to be nice and firm, but still have some sort of squishability to it. Okay. If that makes sense. Um, if you can't plait hair, yes. Can you not do this, or do you have to be? Um, it, how how good are the instructions for plaiting? I think it just says plait. Okay. So I would watch a YouTube video if you don't if you can't if you've plat. not plaited before. But um, it's a lot easier than her because her you lose bits, don't you, as you try and plait, which is what happens when I do it anyway. <laughs> so with this, it's one solid piece, and you can take your time and do it over and over again if you want to. Excellent. There you go. I'm going to give this to you, Natasha. Right. To stuff. Okay. Okay. Yes. So you're just going to push it in. Yes. 
and then push and it then all the way down, down to the bottom, just okay. to this end, and then okay, we'll finish I can do that. that. Fabulous. See, I'm trusted. See the trust there. You can see that Deborah hasn't been on much with me. <laughs> she still trusts me to do stuff. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> what I'm going to do is you get told that there's a sort of, it's like a rectangular size, yeah? Oh, is this the bow? This is the bow. Oh, brilliant. Yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we've got the rectangular size there. And what happens is that you just measure up, I believe, let's make sure we get it right. Deborah. Psst. Yes. I've put it away because I'm very helpful. There Thanks. you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me just have a quick look. Measure one and a quarter inch or three centimetres. Thank you. From the narrow side. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. Do that. One and a quarter. And this okay. is with both those fabrics, <laughs> like a, a university lecturer. Both those <laughs> fabrics right sides together. Yeah, right sides together. Put that on. Do you one and a quarter? Now this has an extra quarter inch on the outside, so that's nice and helpful. So the quarter. So that's two eighths, and then that's that. There. There's some serious measuring going on here. It's very serious. Serious muttering measuring. There we go. Done. Right. So. Do you talk to yourself when you're in your workroom? Yes. Yes. Constantly. Yes. I'm just going to do this, and then <laughs> here I'm going to do that. It's going to give you a good intention. Yeah, yeah exactly. This is what's happening. So what I'm doing is then measuring from that point in the centre out to the co corner. It's a handy size ruler, isn't it? It's not too it cumbersome. Is. I like an, a narrower ruler, really, because I, I don't do a lot of patchwork things, so I need something that... Well, you see, this isn't going to break the bank, and it's got that nice grip on it as I well. I like those gripper things. Mm. are cool, aren't they? So I'm just holding these two pieces together, and then I'm going to cut... Could you pin it together if you're like me? Yes. Okay, good. You could definitely Checking. pin it together. Or you could just do them on in single thickness if you want to be nice and accurate about it. I think that probably ha leads more room for error. Possible, yes, definitely. For me. Just, right. you know, if, you know, we say that we, we make the mistakes here so you don't have to. I've made most of the mistakes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to be fair. Yeah. And I, I own them, it's fine. I do all of them on the, on the, um, De the sample ones, and then I have to try and fix those so that they look right. Yeah, it's always But fixable. then it, by the time you get on the show, you're like, oh, yeah, I'm an expert in this now. I know exactly what I'm doing because I've made all my mistakes at home. <laughs> in the privacy, <laughs> in of, the privacy my of my own, my own room, home. Yeah, exactly. No one needed to see. Yeah. Apart from the cat. So far, I haven't there. ruined a piece of fabric to the point where I've had to order a new new set. So that's, really? that's good. That's, I haven't that's done that yet. That's good. Yeah. That's very good. That's good. Because I, I am, you know, I have done that occasionally. And it's so disheartening, isn't it? Well, you get distractions at home. I mean, you've got, you've got a little one as well. Yeah. That's a big distraction. Yeah. Always. Best kind, obviously, but yeah. still very distracting. Well, it depends what they're doing. Yeah, that, also <laughs> that. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. to make this part, you can see, you can sort of see how that's going to oh, work nice. now. That's the bottom of the bow. Okay. Like that. And yeah. all you're going to do is just stitch all the way around that outside edge. Yeah. Mm. And then leave yourself a 10 centi... Well, so they say 10 centimetre, probably make it slightly smaller. As long as um, you get your hand through yeah. it to turn it through. Exactly, yeah. Um, and if you put it right in the middle, yeah, mm -hmm. you can make sure you don't have to slip stitch it shut because it's going to be oh, pinched it's inside. Be, oh, nice. Whereas if you put it down one of the edges, you're going to have to slip stitch it shut. Now, what I've noticed is that there's quite a fashion for kids to have big bows in their hair right now. Yeah, there is. Surely this is a transferable skill and that you could... Oh, absolutely, yeah. Big bows in your hair. Yeah, and this, this just works off the measurements. So if you just make the measurements slightly smaller... Um, done. Yeah, exactly. Easy peasy. You just well, I mean, uh, these are, I've noticed, like, big, big bows. Yeah, they are, they are big, big bows, yeah. So you, I'm not you, sure how they get those kids to ho keep them in their hair, though. My daughter won't even have, like, a grip. In her hair, for yeah, longer but than about she's, five minutes. How old is she now? Uh, two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah. that'll change. Yeah, that'll change. And most of the time, she's trying to check if it's still there, but then by doing that, she pushes it oh, off her yeah. head, and then she obviously yeah. then she does a toddler and goes, yes. "No, it's gone." So we're sewing round the edge here. Yep, and leaving then, that gap. And then once you're at the corners, like we did before, just pop, leave your needle in, pop your foot up. Put it back down and then straight across. Okay. I've started sort of midway down the middle so that when I finish, I can leave that gap so okay. you don't have to kind of go over um, yourself over again. As a beginner, this, I think, looks 
pretty, pretty doable. Definitely doable. Because if you can sew a straight line, done. Done, sorted. Easy. If yeah. you can make sausages, fabric sausages, you are good to go. Yeah. This is a nice, nice one for a beginner. Nice one with grandkids as well. Yeah, definitely. So get get them involved. And actually, because we've got um, a sewing quarter fan page over, I don't know if you've seen it, but yeah. lots of, what really heartens me is the number of grandparents that are sewing with their grandkids. Yeah, that's really nice. And they, they then go home at the end of the day, they've made a new cushion or they've done something or they're all, a lot of them are already making for mum for Mother's Day. Oh, that's great. With their grandparents. That's very impressive, isn't it's it? It's really lovely because I learned to sew with my grandma. Yeah, me too. Saturday mornings, you know. We'd, make, we'd do something. Yeah. Yeah, my nan, we used to do the cra the craftier stuff with nan and then the sewing, the stitching thing. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting off the corners right across there. Okay. Make sure you don't go too close to your stitches. Because you want quite a nice... And then up here. Can you see where the, that point is? That's going to be another point where it's okay. going to We've got a gather, couple of so. minutes. Okay. There we go. How's your... um? Stuffing coming along. Uh, I'm chill. Speed stuff. Okay, good. Is it? Is it hot? It's pretty much there, isn't it? I reckon. Uh, so the fabric bow. There. This is all you do with all the pieces. You just do, do this, do it with your other one, your bigger one, and with this long length. Right. That's that. So always leaving a gap to turn through. Yeah, and then you have this smaller one. Yeah. I'll just just demonstrate that for you now, so we can make sure people get to see it. You're going to fold those sides inside like mm -hmm. that. I just pressed that with my fingernails, but if you've not got sharp nails or if it won't stay flat, you can always use the iron. Like that. Yeah. And then that you use that to then stuff, to then go round. A bit tight with this. So that will, here we go. That's that bit there. Yeah. So you've got that top, that top bit is, um, is going to do that. We've just done the, the base there. And then that little piece that Deborah folded over in half, edges into the middle, is that part there. And then you've got a great long one, which goes to there. Yeah. Simples. Yeah. Once you've made all your pieces, it's all fairly straightforward. You can sort of, you can even, not like a lot of things, you can actually guess how it's going to go come together. It's which um, is nice. It is a, it is a, a really nice beginner's project. This, I think, I, you know, and, and just it's I think it's something that looks far more complicated than it actually is. Mm -hmm. Standing up is actually quite complicated. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It just it's wants just, to lie down. Just wants to have a bit of Now, you see, now. if you didn't add in the bow. Yes. You could um, you could always have it as the centerpiece and put a, like a flower or something Ooh, yeah, in the middle, flower, a flower pot or something in there, and then maybe you could put your your bow on with a bit of Velcro. Yeah. So you had the option. Um, I like it. We've got two minutes left. There you go. Right, so that's all turned out with the point turner, obviously. That goes there, and then you just pull those things together to make the bow like that. Ah, yeah? easy. Easy peasy. So this one, do you want to hold the end? Love to. There we go. And then you're just going to plait, not very tightly. OK, a loose plait. Loose plait. The sort that would have your hair flying out and wouldn't hold yeah, any of it in. Exactly. Like that. All the way around. Look at you, speedy platter. Speedy platter. There we go. And then what you do is at the ends, where you've got these loose bits here, mm -hmm. where it's open, you're just going to tuck that under, like that. To the inside. So turn the salvage in on itself. Yeah. Bring it to the other one. Yeah. Your matching colour. And you oh. tuck. I'm about to hold them together with a pin or something. Oh, so you pin the edges. Flat. You didn't actually sew those edges together, the yeah. top edges. You can tack them together to make it nice and okay. easy for yourself. So they don't go anywhere. Is this so the most complicated stuff, bit of it? Yeah. You just stuff that inside there. Nice. Like that. Yeah. Pin that together and then slip stitch all oh, the way around the brilliant. outside. And that makes one solid ring. And then you just do the next one. And the next and one. And the next one. And then you've got yourself a, a beautiful I mean, there ring. There you go, you see? Gorgeous. Oh, thank you. No problem at thank all. Thank you so much. Um, now, we're not going to let you leave the building yet. No. Nope. Uh, you are here to do another show with us. And am, we're yes. making the most beautiful makeup bags. Yeah. 
We really like to take them home with us. We would. That would be really, really nice. Like yeah, we'd love to They do are that. beautiful. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be in an hour's time. Um, I'm going to go and show you the bundles. Well, not you. You've seen them. I've seen Everyone them. Everyone else. Thank you very but much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you ever so much. Uh, now, the one that we've just seen Deborah using is here. So, I think very feminine, pretty, spring-like and lovely. $24.99 SWGC 66. You get your stuffing, you get your thread, you get your full instructions and a metre and a half of fabric. That's an easy way, isn't it, to just brighten up your home. Beautiful. And instructions so that then you can make it for Christmas as well. Yay! Fabulous. Um, if you want it in the original colourways that uh, Deborah made the, the, the one in, then we've got... Oh, this is super popular. I'm not surprised. Single figures. But you see, look how beautifully those ginghams go with those, with those um, floral colourways. $24.99 again, a metre and a half of fabric here. Lovely. There it is. And you get the instructions. So you can do this again and again. You could put bows on everything. You can put bows on your cushions, bows on your bags, bows anywhere. Now, we also made the letters. As the springtime armadillo, you still need to check out your baskets. So basically, more of you have it in your baskets than we have stock of, so please check out your baskets. So they are your details there. So if you have VZGC00, it's $24.99. If that is in your basket, please check out your baskets. Anyone can ring up and ask for it, and it'll be taken out your basket if you haven't checked out. It's only yours when you check out. Um, and then the yellow ones, very popular again, in single figures here. So you've got your gingham, you've got your silver spot, and then you've got your spray time. Beautiful springtime fa uh, fabrics in a classic combination of silver and silver and yellow. $24.99, full instruction stuffing and thread. Now, we have an offer on the website for you. Of course we do. It's celebrating Simply Sewing's third birthday. Now, this is our sister magazine. You will see a lot of their um, makes on our shows. We love it, Lucy. There's, there's the bird. Uh, so similar to the sort of makes we make today, but also dressmaking, you know, easy dressmaking. It's really beautiful. Um, and lots of our demonstrators here contribute. So very lovely to have. And 50% off your subscription, but only this week, just to celebrate birthday. And then the offer's gone. So make the most of that. Grab it while you can. And I will see you in just a few moments. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. Join Sewing Quarter at the Sewing for Pleasure show this March. From Thursday the 15th to Sunday the 18th, the NEC in Birmingham is transformed into Fabric Heaven, where you can enjoy sewing, quilting, patchwork, and dressmaking with the experts. Find the Sewing Quarter team on stand H06. And with the chance to meet our guest designers, as well as presenters Natasha and me, John, we'll have live demonstrations for you to enjoy plus special show prices on exciting product. Snap up your tickets and bring a friend for free with our two-for-one ticket code exclusive to Sewing Quarter. Quote the code EV26 at www.sewingshow.co.uk and you can get two-for-one prices on adults and seniors for one, two and three-day tickets. Hi, I'm Victoria Pete, and here are my top tips. My first tip is when dressmaking is to wash your fabrics. As soon as you get home or as soon as it arrives in the post, stick it in the wash. Wash it as you would do with the finished garment. Get it ready so that when you're ready to sew, you're ready to go. My next tip is posture. When you're sitting at your sewing machine, particularly when you're doing something like quilting, pay attention to how you're sitting in the chair, because quite often when you're really concentrating on quilting, you have a tendency to hunch, and before you know it, you'll end up with a bad back. So my last tip is to not sew when you're tired. So many times I've sewn when I'm tired and I make mistakes, and you find yourself unpicking or wasting fabric. Sew when you're nice, ready and fresh. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433 
email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Join us on Friday the 2nd of March when we'll meet the delightful Nicola Dodd from Cake Stand Quilts for the very first time, showcasing a happy wanderer bag and a block design. Nicola Dodd's debut show is set to be an exciting event where the hand quilter and Moda Fabric Ambassador takes us through a tropical turtle design using floral fabrics from Macau's Fruity Friends range alongside seaside blues and green hues. Nicola will be back at 11am where she'll be sharing a day out quilt with you filled with solid colour fabrics and available as a kit in two springtime colourways. This is the perfect project to get your teeth into before the summer. So be sure to pop in and say hello to our new guest, Nicola Dodd, Friday the 2nd of March, 9am and 11am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Welcome back. Now, um, I have basically spring here, all the spring colours, because it's going to happen. I know it's probably the coldest day of the year so far, but spring is going to happen. We've got snowdrops, right? Therefore, and we've got daffodils, therefore spring is going to happen. So I want to bring you some spring colours, spring ideas, spring makes. Let's get ready for Easter. It's at the end of the month. First of March, isn't it, today? So that means that Easter is... I actually... Uh, it's, it's April the 1st, isn't it, actual Easter Sunday? Now, uh, let's start with some Eastery colours then, some springtime colours. Mother's Day, of course, this month as well. Yeah, what are you making? Any ideas? Right, so, um, half a metre of each. Producer, have no ideas for what you're making for your mother? Oh, she might be watching. Oh, she doesn't know yet. Maybe we can inspire you this hour. Oh, she keeps on texting you to remind you it's Mother's Day on a daily basis. Well, you know, that, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Just in case you forget. No, not working in this industry, you can't forget. So 1625 gives you your classic spring fabric bundle. These are all our Macaws. These are all um, solid cotton. Solid cotton? 100% cotton, that's what I'm trying to say. It's not solid. It's not like getting a block of colour. Um, this is lovely soft, 100% cotton, 44 inches, salvage to salvage. You have got pastel pink. Uh, you've got your baby blue, you've got cream, you've got lilac, um, and you've got mint. Nice. Hey, that cream looks really yellowy, doesn't it, when it's put in with that? It's great, isn't it? But it's cream. It's cream. 16 25 for all of your fabric spring bundles. Beautiful. Now, what if you want a bit of, bit of texture, a bit of something a little bit different? Oh, what if I just knocked on the floor? And so the other version that we've got for you, oh, look what they've done. You see, this is how upstairs, very upstairs, next door, in the office, very clever look. So they've done kind of the same, but with spots. So uh, this, oh, you are clever upstairs as well. Don't worry, producer Hannah and, and award-winning director Mike. Oh, I covered myself there. Uh, so this is your Easter parade spot on fabric. There we go. So that's lilac. We do like lilac today, don't we? This is baby pink. This one is primrose. Then we've got your kiwi, and then you've got your baby blues. So these are useful. I mean, do you know what? Maybe springtime, but also maybe baby quilts, things like that for the little ones, just gentle pastel colors, 
always very, very handy. Will work in with your florals and things like that. So just great staples to have in your, in your stash, $24.49. So lots of you making quilts for, you know, for different charities and things. So it's all good. It's all good. You've got all of those options there. And just building up, having, um, having a, a stable of all of these colours, so you've got it then ready to use. Maybe you've bought the letters from the earlier hour, and now you want to make letters for everything. For everything. Yes, for everyone. Letters for everyone. Now, oh, now maybe... We've got some, um, some patterns coming up later for, for felt toys and things, but I also think that the letters would look lovely done out of felt. So you get that different texture, or if you want to applique, if you want to use them as a, as a template for your applique, you could applique letters onto bags and things like that. So I have two different felt bundles. Should we start with the springtime one, this one? Oh, you see, oh, look, and this goes. This does, oh, this goes with those other fabrics. Now, do you want to see how big the sheet is? Because you're getting five sheets in here. Let me show you this. 5.49, yay! Great for, um, for if, you're, if you're starting to do any kind of, um, well, sewing and stuff with grandkids and they're, they're only little, felt is very, very forgiving. It's easy to cut, doesn't fray. It's a really handy one to have. That's what they always started us off sewing with at school, was with felt, weren't trusted with fabric. And if you've got the grandkids, don't, you know, you don't necessarily want to use all your, your best fabrics on them. They can have their own little stash of felts. Or you can make your own fuzzy felts. I love fuzzy felts. Or you can make your own soft toys out of them. We've got that coming up in a bit. So they are your Easter colours there. Well, springtime, Easter. And then, oh, now you see, I like this because you've got your, oh, this is the other colour bundle. Now, maybe if you make little uh, felt animals, then that's a really handy colour to have. I made Freddie some felt monsters. He'd have loved these colours. Oh, carrots. There you go, it's a good carrot colour, isn't it? Um, Two-tone carrots, because you've got a lighter orange in there. Or, if you bought the chick yesterday and you wanted to do a felt inner to his beak, then he could have a, he could have a textured beak inside. So you can just add a little touch, can't you? My, when I was seven, my dad made me a, a doll's house. And it's, it's come back out of the attic now, and, it's, um, and he's renovated it for me. And, um, and actually, felt makes great uh, carpets in dolls' houses. There you go. But what a handy um, kind of ombre going on there. Four forty nine. Hang on, how is this one cheaper than the other one? We don't know. Don't question it. Just get on with it, Natasha. Uh, look, that is obviously our error. Make the most of that. And uh, yeah, you go. You've got... Got yourself a little saving on there. Nice, very nice. Now, let's have a look at some thread bundles for you. We've made one of our very own because these go with the um, pastel bundles that we've put together. So we obviously had to match those colors. So that is what we've done. So if you did go for the bundle, say here, There, look at that. Then uh, you're sorted, aren't you? Let me move that forwards. And then I could actually have some room. That'd be amazing. So look, you can see how beautifully they are all matched. Hours spent matching these things. That makes me really happy. You know, when things you just go, oh yeah. Ah. It is nice, isn't it? It's very satisfying. And so of course, gonna work perfectly with the spot on as well. So say if you're digging around, trying to find a colour that's meh, maybe here or there, for £8.99, you've got the threads, done, coordinated, done, happy days. That makes me happy. Um, and on each of these, you get, you get loads, don't you? 100 metres. 100 metres. Yeah. £8.99. Uh, FQGC88. Now, that's one we bundled. Um, we've got another Goodman thread. It's quite similar, but, you know, that's all right, too. It's giving you more, more pastel options. Here are your more pastel options. Oh, we're limited on this. This is called Summer Loft. 
And there they are. Now that one under there, I'm going to spin that around so you could see that. I like that color. That's a very useful color because it's, you can put that with a yellow or with a green and it will blend through. Um, and then you've got obviously your greens, a couple of blues in there, a couple of pinks and a white. Handy, handy, especially if you're doing a baby quilt or something like that, then you've got all of those pastel colors and you're good to go. $8.99. Perfect. Oh, and we've got some Metla as well. Now then, here we go. This one is your Metla. Now this is 100% cotton, but they're silk finish. So they look really lovely. Now this, these are made in the Czech Republic, so you're made in Europe. Um, and the way that they're finished off, the reason that they've got that lovely luster is that there is very, very little lint on these. They go through a, a process where, um, and it has to be so precise as it would all go horribly wrong. Um, basically the tiny, tiny, tiny little threads are just burnt off. So they just, they just go. Um, and obviously they have to be really careful with that, but th that's, how it, that's how they get that lovely, lovely luster, uh, which isn't uh, spoilt by lint bits that's gonna block up your machine. So 12.99. Whichever one you work with, cotton. Now you see some people, if they're working with 100% um, cotton fabric, will only use cotton thread because they think that the polyester might, might, um, you know, is is so much stronger than the cotton. So they would rather repair a thread than a fabric that's torn. So they, but, but everybody has their own choice. You know, this is your silk finish, 100% uh, cotton, and that's 12.99. Beautiful. Now, let's have a look. Um, something special for Easter. Which one? Yeah, show me. Which one? Oh, oh, those bundles. Are, oh, these. I love these. Okay, uh, they all have bunnies on. One of them is open. I'm not allowed to open the other ones because I'll make a mess. It's the truth of it, basically. Um, we have them for Easter. I think, if because I make my own Easter eggs, and I think that if you decorate those around your egg, but then also, I think, on your dresser, could you imagine that along the, along the shelves of your dresses? Gorgeous. Yes, people do still make Easter bonnets. That would be a lovely trim. Oh. My friend Ali and I thought it would be a really good idea when we were kids to make a joint Easter bonnet, forgetting the fact that she is about Deborah's size and I'm my size. So we then had to put like steps up on her hat so that with the hat, yeah. It was a great idea in theory. It took us weeks to make. So you'll get all three. You'll get it in yellow, you'll get it in pink, you'll get it in blue, but that is it. Even as a trim on, on, a, on something baby-like. At home decorations, you see, I think that would look lovely across. We've got a nice, um, dresser in our kitchen and I often put a little bit of bunting or something on there so you could put that along the shelves of you be lovely 5.99 they should surely be more than 5.99 for all three of these should be 8.97 how have we got that down to 5.99 oh so when we bundled them we put a little reduction on there for it a little reduction that's a massive reduction so yeah if you want these please grab them now so 5.99 Get in. So yeah, a lovely, lovely saving on there. Should have been nearly nine pounds, down to 5.99. VVGC 32, love those. Lots of you coming in for those. Please check out your baskets because with that kind of reduction on, they're not going to stay around. What have you started doing, Producer Hannah? Decorating for Easter already, good job. Little Easter thingies here and there. Uh, daffodils, I always get daffodils each week at the market. A little chick in your car as well. You don't drive, do you, Tana? Oh, Director Mike's got a little chick in his car. I was gonna say maybe that's why the Uber driver didn't want to take you this morning if he wanted to decorate his cab. Just a thought, just a thought. Um, now, here we go, talking of decorating. Now, this is, you get, you get so much rickrack in each of these. Um, it is, what, 25 meters of rickrack. Firstly, this is a really easy to use rickrack because look at the width of it. So it is easy. So if you've never worked with rickrack, don't for, go for a fine rickrack because you're setting yourself up for failure. Go for a nice wide rickrack. I think this for bunting is brilliant. So just sew your triangles onto there Boom, bunting done. 12.99, 25 meters of bunting. You've got a lot, 
you've got so much there. And it's, you know, so you can store it. It's always going to be nicely stored. You see, when you go to a haberdashery, they would normally just unravel that and take you off a meter. No, 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 no. You get a whole lot here. So you're not having to suddenly realize that you've run out and you need to go back for more. Um, even if you're just decorating around a vase or something for Easter, you'd just put a little bit of a happy trim on. I would like to rename it Happy Trim. Uh, 12 99 for 25 meters. Happy days. Um, this has been used. You will get a, an... <laughs> You will get an unused one. We've obviously, you see, you see how easy it is to just use up a bit of rickrack. And um, so we have, we've always got it, yeah, and our designers apparently just help themselves. They just delve in, bit of rickrack, yes, please. Spring, Christmas. Actually, the white is really versatile. Yes. Nice edges for cushions and things. Something a little bit different. Or if you've done a cushion and you've got a seam that's a bit wonky, just stitch a little bit of rickrack over it. Hides a multitude of sins. Yeah, especially if you've got a join. So for instance, like here, say you've sewn those together and it hasn't gone quite to plan, then that's okay. Because all you need to do would just be to put a little bit of rickrack over and no one would know. It would look like a design. It does bring out the white in the flowers, doesn't it? We'll come to that later. That, we haven't got to that yet. Hence coming to it later, yeah. Point out the obvious, Natasha. Uh, okay, so that's your white rickrack. I've also got it in blue. Which one are you going for? Blue? This is, uh, 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 here we go again, 25 meters of it. 25 meters. You see, you could, you could um, use this all around your little one's room. You could, um, you could decorate, couldn't you? With your uh, bunting, that's the word I want. It's not a difficult, book, a difficult word. And in fact, as I look across the studio, I can actually see a whole book about bunting that we've got. So yeah, in preparation, get yourself some Rick Rack. Uh, ready for the book. Yeah, ready for the book. Just in preparation for the book, uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of bunting. Uh, here we go. This is it in baby pink. Oh, we're limited on the pink. Well, we will reorder it, but at the moment, we are limited on it. So if you do want it, pop it in your basket, make sure you've got it, because there's nothing worse than getting midway through a project, trying to get it, and oh, they've sold out of it. Get it while you see it, 12.99 FHGQ86. Do like a spot of rickrack. And then, are we calling this lilac? What are we calling this? We call, well, we call everything else lilac this morning, haven't we? Let's call this lilac. There we go. Palmer violets. Oh, they're good, aren't they? Violet creams. That's why I always get my mama's, you know, part of her Mother's Day. She loves a Palmer's violet cream. Oop, there we go. And you see, if, maybe if, you're, um, if you are doing something like that, then you could make your own little pretty box and put some rickrack on. It's nice. Oh, House of Alistair Lavender. Make lavender bags. Nice. Very versatile, isn't it? Incredibly useful. Twelve ninety nine. You're getting a lot. Well, twenty five meters. SKGQ nineteen. Lynn's messaged. Oh, I've got one from Jill. Oh, Jill says hi, Natasha. Just you doing? Can you tell me where the pattern for the quilt behind you has come from? Uh, Jill, that is on Sunday. I've got a whole quilt roundup show on Sunday. And that is on Sunday, so you need to tune in on Sunday or press record or look back on um, uh, YouTube or wherever. However, Jill, that is Sunday. It's just a teasy for now with all the different colours. It's lovely. Uh, Lynn says, what does Lynn say? Hi again, Tash. What? Well, hello. Now up and dress. Good on you. So <laughs> she says that she's enjoying having a light rather than going on the early train. Yeah. And she's up sewing. Good. Good. Yeah, because then you're still going to feel like you've had a productive day. Like you, the lion was, would have been your commute time. So you can still be very, very productive. Oh, bunnies and fabric bundles going fast. I will get to this, I promise. I keep trying to grab it, but I'll get there in a minute. Um, bunnies first. Always bunnies first. Here we go. Pink. Oh, gosh, a quarter of the... Um, right, we ordered a lot in. Then we put a reduction on it. Um, and then, so it should have been nearly nine pounds and it's now 5.99. So bargains all round. It's super cute and gorgeous. A quarter of the stock has gone. Uh, you're getting three lots of these. VVGC 32, 5.99. 
Um, I would just be decorating my, my, um, my house for Easter with these. Bit of this here and there, bit of a bunny. Oh, what if you're making little, um, little felt Easter baskets for, um, for an Easter egg hunt and you could decorate them with those? Job done. Perfect. But do check out your baskets on those. Love those. We've got them specially in for you, you know. Make the most of that. Uh, which fabric would you like to look at next? The classic. This one. This is your classic, isn't it? Quarter of the stock has gone already on here. So you've got lilac, baby pink, cream, mint and baby blue. Half a metre of each. They look beautiful together, actually, but are very handy individually as well. And uh, if you wanted to mix in your rickrack, do that too. Get your threads that match. I feel that it's very colour coordinated this hour. What are we doing to make it go further, producer? Oh, yes, maybe you did get some fabric and miss it, miss out. The Dina design, yeah, the yellow one, that would have these colours through, especially that blue. It had quite a lot of that blue going through it. So then you're making your designer fabrics go further. We like that. 16.25. For two and a half meters, half a meter of each of those. But like I say, please check out your baskets because that is going super fast. Uh, now, let's do the bundle that I keep teasing you with. Oh, you haven't got a what? Because you forgot, Patricia. Oh, the finished bag? It was. Where's it gone? Oh, it was up there. Okay, you forgot. Let's move on. Right, not drawing attention to that in any way, shape, or form. But look, this is what it looks like this is your bunny ear bag. Perfect, again, for all your Easter projects, Easter gifting, Easter egg hunts, all those sorts of things. And you are going to get full instructions. You're also going to get iron-on, it's quite a big bundle actually this, iron-on interfacing, and you're also getting your thread and your embroidery skein because you're gonna to want to embroider a happy smiley face on. You could add teeth in, for a little bunny, you could add teeth in, um, and then, do you want to see beautiful fabrics? So this one here is who? Beth, oh, Beth Studley. Um, so Beth Studley is actually a British designer. We have so many um, American designers. She's actually a, a UK designer. She's not long had a baby. Congratulations. Uh, so there you go, half a metre of, uh, of Beth Studley's fabric. Oh, is she going to be at knitting and stitching? Oh, really? Producer Hannah's going to stalk her tomorrow in the nicest possible way at Knitting and Stitching Show. Oh, you're coming to the Knitting and Stitching. Are you going to brave it? Producer Hannah, do you reckon the trains are going to work going into London tomorrow? Don't know. Oh, she's only going if it's safe. No, me too. Um, this is, and then you get a half a metre of your Heron Grey. Is it Heron Grey, this one? Heron Linear. It is, isn't it? Heron Linear. Works beautifully with the pink, doesn't it? I like, I like that a lot. Um, so that could be like the inside of your bunny ears or maybe save that for another project. Maybe you could get the felt, the felt and have felt bunny ears. I'm all for a bit of, you know, textile lovely. So the whole bundle, half a metre of your hair in grey, half a metre of your Beth uh, Studley designs. Please, Beth, be careful because, you know, Hannah's tracking you down tomorrow. In a nicest possible way. Your thread and uh, your interfacing and your full instructions. Beautiful. Oh, oh, producer Hannah, can we start with the sheep, please? Spring has sprung. Um, we love these. In fact, Bex Reed, who often comes on as one of our guests, she's also the technical editor of Simply Sewing, which you can get 50% off this week, um, actually bought herself one of these because she loved it so much. She did, oh, did she actually, was she the one that asked for us to get them? Oh, so she's struggling to get them anywhere. Could we get them? That's using your power and your influence, isn't it? Could we just, are we basically just her personal shopper? Hey, look, you can't go wrong because look at this. Yes, yes, it is a fully retractable. Um, Hannah says, quick, retract it. No, no, I want to show you that it's got inches one side, centimeters the other. And the really nice thing about it is, is they haven't done that really annoying thing where they start that kind of covered up with, a, with, with like a, you know, the brass tacks and stuff they put on the end. They haven't done that. So you do get that full inch at the start. And then when you're done, you just press his um, 
back. It, no, well, it's not his bottom because that's where his tail is. Yeah, you see, I nearly said bottom and went, no, 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 it's not his bottom, is it? So retract, this is 150 centimetres. Oh, it's just so cute. Mother's Day, Easter, whatever, I don't care, just get one. It is a little treat for yourself and it's just 8 99 Really, really handy. Pow! I could do this all day. DNHN59 is your code for that. Uh, we do have other animals. We've got an array, a veritable zoo of animals going on here. Uh, now, I think actually Beck's got the, um, she got the crocheted snail. And he's got, look, the detailing in here. I mean, it is, it's tiny, tiny crochet. I'm rubbish at crochet. No, no, I was just bringing them up. I was gentle, just more of a, more of a massage. Um, but look, he's got, he's got little, um, little beads on his eyes, on his antennae. And look at that, beautifully crocheted. My crochet would not look like that if I'd have done it. And there's his, uh, and then there's a little button hidden in the back there. So you just press the middle of that. Whee! He is a good little sewing gift. And there he retracts. Beautiful. We've got him in a different colour. So we've got him in the blues and the greens and the purples. And then we've got him in the pinks. And here she is in the pinks and the reds. Oh, hello. Which is because it kind of highlights her lipstick. I'm saying that's lipstick now. There we go. We We love these. $8.99 for your pink snail. Is it pink? Yeah, I guess it's got pink in there. Pink and red in there. This makes me want to learn to crochet better. We. So it's actually, it's only the sheep that isn't crocheted out of these. Do you want to see the next one? The bear, the bear, the bear. Oh, he's even got crocheted ears. He is fabulous. He does look wise, possibly slightly sad. He hasn't got home yet, you see. He'll look happy when he comes home to you. Push the back of his head. I can't guarantee that, by the way. 8.99. <laughs> he might look happy. Yeah, oh, no, no! Oh, you bought me, I'm happy now. <gasps> buy me, buy me, I'm sad. Happy bear. Um, <laughs> You see, hours of fun. I'm going to the next one. It's actually a crazy move on. Um, owl, for all your wise friends. Lots of people do collect owls. Don't it? It's like pigs and frogs. There just seems to be a thing about pigs, frogs, and owls that people collect. Oh, did you want, now, hang on, this is one of his legs. Let me get the right leg. Yep, it's that egg. Did you want, your nan used to collect owls? Frogs. Oh, she was a frog. Oh, she wasn't a frog. She was a frog collector. <laughs> No, that would have been biologically impossible. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Oh, I like him. And I like that they've done some sort of different form of crochet to give him a fluffy chest. If I were any good at crochet, I'd be able to tell you what that was, but I can't. You'll probably know. Oh, the fox. Again, actually, people collect foxes, don't they? And feed them as well in their back gardens. My fox seems to think it's just a, like a buffet in our garden as he wanders parks and looks at my chickens. I'm like, uh-uh. Not today, sunshine. Uh, this is your orange fox retractable tape measure. There's his little tail. Woo! Meter and a half, and you've in inches and centimeters. Hours of retractable fun. Eight ninety nine. M K H N twenty six. It's just you know we were saying earlier, weren't we? We sometimes get when we get stressed on the show because we're running out of time. We want to finish the demo. Sewing should be fun. And if that makes you smile every time you measure something. Rating things. Now, the very lovely Debbie Shaw. Oh, this is from Helen. Oh! Oh, Easter bunting, you see? Perfect. Well done, Helen. Is that Helen as in Happy St. Helen's Day? Or different Helen? Oh, more than one Helen. Who could all be, you know, celebrating Happy St. Helen's Day, which because I changed it from Happy St. David's Day. So, yes, fabulous. You see, already, was that from last year? You haven't already started decorating for this Easter, have you? Or have you? Are you like producer Hannah, who's already like full on decorating? Oh. Well, otherwise, it's such a short time. But if you need a bit of a hand with decorating with your bunting, here we go. Debbie Shaw's got it sorted for you. Now, oh really, producer Hannah, uh, her mum, she's, she's got all her sewing stuff out again. She's been reinvigorated, and she's got back into it. 
she made her dad uh, redecorate the whole of the spare room. Hannah's dad, that is. That would be producer Hannah's mum's husband. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and so now, and the first thing she made was some bunting. Now, the lovely Debbie Shaw, there she is. Really lovely lady. Very talented. My Jo, she knows her stuff. She really does. And the nice thing about all of her books is that she does, she actually makes all of this stuff herself, and her husband is the photographer, which is really nice. So it's a, it's a proper sort of family affair. And often if you see, um, you know, that a lot, sometimes her daughters are in here and all sorts of things. Useful tools, basic techniques, useful stitches, and then simple bunting. So if you're starting off, maybe you want to use your rick rack with your simple bunting. We've got it sorted. Maybe you want to use some of your Easter colours in there. Tells you step by step. Now, this is your advent bunting. What I like about this is that Debbie gives you bunting for all times of the year. Then you could leave those as little open pockets if you wanted and pop a little treat in for your advent bunting. And then, if actually, if you put it up high enough, the little ones can't do as Freddie did this year and just raid it when you're not looking and then you have no treats. Um, and then you've got your applique bunting. Now, if you've learned how to do your applique bunting, then you could, of course, applique as Helen did, Happy Easter onto your bunting. Yeah, interchangeable skills. Your beach bunting, because, you know, summer might happen. Look at what the sun looks like, says producer Hannah. Do you remember that, that vitamin D? Now, I love this one. What a great idea, blackboard bunting. You just paint your fabric with blackboard paint. I think that's great. And look, they're, 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 um, they're not necessarily sewn on, but you could uh, put your little paper clips on so that you can then get your kids to decorate them when they're bored over Easter. Uh, button bunting. We, actually, we made this on a show. It's very cute, isn't it? Lots of you putting up photos of your she sheds in your workrooms. Uh, there's a lot of bunting going on in those, let me tell you. I like this idea of your crazy patchwork bunting, showing off all your different fabrics, or even if you, because you could do your crazy bunting like that with, um, with all of your leftovers. It's a nice way to use up your leftovers, and, but have them out. What about arty bunting? Get your felt out for a spot of arty bunting. I don't think it comes with the cupcakes. Oh, I, could really, I could really go a cupcake right now. Yeah. Lampshade bunting, why not? Why not? Perfect. Especially in the little one's bedroom, actually. I think that would look quite nice. Heartfelt bunting. Well, there are lots of hearts on there. And felt as well. Perfect for that. So you could get your felt bundle and make yourself some of that. Um, country, country bunting. There you go. With ruffles. I think it's a great way to spruce up your farm, your farm style kitchen, isn't it? Um, maybe you make your own preserves. I've always fancied making my own preserves, but I don't think anyone would actually eat them, so I've never bothered. Yeah, no, I just so that I can get some gingham fabric to put over the top of the jam jars. Um, <laughs> Halloween bunting, you see, all the year is covered. That's pretty, you didn't know there were that many buntings in the world, did you? Now, you've got your icicle bunting. Maybe you've got um, a grandchild that is, uh, is into a certain... Frozen based, ah, frozen based film. Yeah. Actually, there's some cracking icicles in the bridge just out up the road. You know, when you just go, I'm really not going to walk under that bridge just in case. Um, and then use up your old denim scraps. I know this is really great one. Yeah, because you can. Um, or tidy up your um, where your kids do their work, their homework. Pop a little bit of jean bunting on there. Dressmaking, things like that. It's, a, it's great as a tidy, a tidy anything, really. Tidy anything, yes. Lavender bunting. Oh, I know you love the smell of lavender. You nicked half my lavender, remember? I don't know, yeah. It smells good, though, doesn't it? It does smell good. Um, so that's your lavender bunting. Great in little ones' rooms, because let's face it, the nappy bin does not smell amazing. Uh, nautical bunting. Nautical, but nice. Oh, and the Oriental bunting. But you say, honey, do you celebrate Chinese New Year as well as all the other sorts? Because I know you like to celebrate. You, you didn't, but you thought you might. Oh, your housemate works at a nursery. So, oh, there you go. You could make some Oriental bunting for them. There's your Pelmet bunting. Who knew? Who knew? 
cute. Oh, I like this one. I like the pocket bunting. It's a really pretty way just to, um, you know, have a little bit of extra storage around the place. Ribbon bunting. Who knew there was this much bunting in the world? Santa bunting. Oh, he's a bit good. Oh, yeah, no, I like an, an excuse to get out your pom poms. <laughs> Producer Hannah doesn't need any excuse for getting out her pom poms, she says. She's always pom pom ready. Your scissor keepers, very handy. Yep, yeah, workroom. Scrapbook bunting. Oh, that's nice. Hey, if you, because um, we sell the threads, don't we? Printable fabric, you could do that. Wouldn't that be good for a, for a birthday? Yeah. Last year, my granddad was 90 and we did him a big party. We should have done him some uh, family bunting that he could have taken home. I like to think he would have loved that. I don't think it would have ever gone up. Um, sewing room bunting, just because, because you can. Steampunk bunting. There's more bunting. And then your table bunting. Producer Hannah. This is what sunshine looks like. Yeah. And a bunting bag. Oh, look, the, the, the child has actually disappeared in there. That's a big bunting bag. Excellent. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of bunting in there, isn't it? Well, I mean, obviously, because it is all about bunting. 9 99 bunting for all occasions, and some you didn't even know you needed bunting for. Brilliant. Um, Springtime tilt. Oh, yeah, this, this one. Mm. Now, if you've just managed to get some of the nice new Tilda fabrics, you're going to want some Tildery ideas, right? Right. Um, I'm not allowed to flick through a thing because we are uh, in need of, of hurrying up a little bit. I've just, gosh, look at the time already. Uh, this is your Tilda Spring Ideas book. I like it because it's got the fat bottom B, and that makes me happy. You might want to be able to make your own fat bottom B. I've, I've, I've done a few pages on here that I like. Oh, look at those. Yes. Easy to make. Little purse bags or, um, you know, if you've got a wedding or something that you need to go to, you could do that. Or even pop your makeup in it. Anything. It's any excuse to get a bit of, bit of tilde out. And then, oh, this is, I, I always have to put this page in because that's just dream workroom. Although I think she could do with a bit of bunting. <laughs> I think she's missed a bunting opportunity. Lovely. Next book or next picture, which is Hannah. Ah, look. So you, and this has also got all of your patterns for all the makes in here as well, which is very, you know, if you need some wings, there they are, all sorted. And you've also got in the back of here, you've got a little bit of um, paper crafting as well in the back, which is really lovely. So uh, there you go. Bye bye. So great if you bought any of the lemon tree yesterday, or you know before. Home sewing, home style, so pretty home style. Here we go. Now um, over thirty-five irresistible projects. Love. Are we? Uh, we're limited on this until we reorder. So again, Tilda inspired designs. I just, oh, you know when you just go, if I had the time to make all of these, it is, it's like the perfect home, isn't it? So if you want to do a little bit of red work, you've got that sorted in there. Let's get on to some, pro ooh, slippers. You can make your own Tilda slippers. I mean, that's happy days, isn't it? Um, so great book, full of ideas, how to pretty up your home, have it looking lovely. I had to go to a friend's house once and she just had a basket of slippers. They just had new flooring put down. So she's like, even if you, you know, you're not coming in your outdoor shoes, pick a slipper. Oh, and so you could fill those with lavender, couldn't you? Bit of red work if you fancy a bit of that. Oh, now this has also got lots of toys. I really want to make that dog. Look at him. And you've also got the pussycat. Oh, hello. Has she just fallen into that bowl? Wee! Gosh. Oh, that, you know, this is the, the cat about the kitchen, isn't it? It gets everywhere. Um, so lots of different ideas, lots of different toys, lots of different home makes. We are limited on there. Um, and you've, got, you've even got quilts in there as everywhere. It's a lovely all-round book, this one. 
Oh, I made that one. Do you remember, producer? I made that one. I really enjoyed it. And I think, well, what else did I make out of this book? I've made quite a few things out of this book. I really enjoyed it. Look at the teddy. Oh, I've got to put this down. Right, OK. Please do grab that. And then we'll have a look at the last one in just a minute. Um, do you want to look at cupcakes? Mm -hmm. Mother's Day uh, present here. So a spot of tilda in your life in a very affordable way. So this gives you enough to make three cupcakes. Now, uh, $12.99, you get all of the fabric for the three different cupcakes. I, this was the first properly curved project that I sewed. I managed it, you can manage it. And then what I did, because I used mine as pin cushions, so I put rice in the bottom so that it had a bit of weight and then I put stuffing on the top and that worked a treat and then you see all of my pins in there look like hundreds and thousands but you don't it doesn't have to be a pin cushion by the way that's just that's just if you wish oh yeah you you even get those little cherry bits as well so just be careful if you're giving it to children or if you think children might think they're edible so $12.99, LQGQ27. We're very health and safety conscious today, aren't we? Yeah. Always looking out for you. Best interests at heart and all that. Uh, oh, what are we going to look at? Oh, the patterns, the patterns. I promise you felt patterns, didn't I? And here they are. Um, now then, here we go. This is your puppy pattern. Here we go. Look at him. You get the, um, you get all of the instructions. Oh, no, hang on. This was 9 99 when we prepped yesterday. That's half price. Puppet, oh, it was 8 99 It's nearly half price. Hey, look, it's got discount on. I'm happy for that. Um, now, I'm going to take this out so I can show you what each of these patterns, what you're getting. Hey, that's a great one. Oh, just pop on a discount here and there just because we can. It's Easter. Oh, that's actually a photo. This is lovely. So this is from Countryside Crafts. So, and that's a little photo on there. And then step by step, how to do it. You can do these as hand-sewn projects as well. Um, and then, look, you get all of your template pieces in there as well. Isn't it lovely? Very sweet. And then, hang on, let me find you the dog on the front. The dog on the front. You can make him out of felt. You could weight him down, have him as a door stopper. Oh, look. Or maybe a, a little something for a friend. Maybe you've got a friend that's in hospital and something they need cheering up. You can't take flowers into hospital anymore. How silly is that? Because of allergies and stuff, apparently. Which isn't, you know, silly if you're the person with the allergies, but, you know, it's nice to brighten up a day. So maybe take something like that instead to cheer them up. Now, the next one is your Easter sewing kit. And you've got bunnies. There we go. So again, um, this also, this is your Easter sweets basket. So you can make that. Should be $8.99. Uh, 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 we've taken it down to just $4.99. Grab a bit of felt. You get your templates and their full instructions. I'm just going to have a look to see exactly which templates, because I don't know if you can make all of those. That would be amazing if you could. Just get them. You won't get this creased one, by the way. Oh, no, look, you can, look. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, look, they're a nice size as well. Can we, are we, where are we coming in with this? Do you want me to hold it up? No, we're coming in. Here we go. Oh, look, so you've got your Easter bunny, you've got your basket, Easter bunny basket, you've got uh, your ducks, you've even got your beak, your eggs. Easter felt bundle, just saying. Would work an absolute treat. Oh, this is lovely. Really lovely, full instruct. there's a lot of instructions. Oh, that's so, so you, you don't make the actual basket. You can put them in a basket. They're a perfect size to put in a basket with a couple of eggs. So you've got your bunny, your sideways bunny, front on bunny, your little chick, and then you've got your eggs as well that you can decorate. Perfect. Love that. Next, next, next. Oh, now this, I 
love these. These are brilliant. Why have I not seen these before? Have these been on a show before, produce Hannah? Where have they been? Now, look at these. These are like your antique kind of yesteryear. Oh, well, they've said they've said time worn, bear and bunny. I know how they feel. Um, uh, you can make the bear and the bunny. And again, they're, they're little they're little handy sizes that little hands can really get around and, and take with them. They would look nice as little ornaments as well. Beautiful. Fun, and you can hand stitch these as well. Should have been eight ninety nine down to four ninety nine. ZHHN seventy four. Bargain, bargain, I tell you. Uh, now the next one. Oh my word! Bunnies doing what bunnies do best. Nine inch bunnies. There's millions of them. Millions of them. These are great as a door stopper. As well, really, really clear instructions. Lovely templates. Perfect fusing with um, with your felt. See, get your felt, make those. Uh, that's that gives you an idea. Obviously, he has ears. There's another there's another bit to that, but you can just get an idea of scale. Which, if I if I grab yesterday's chick and put it next to it, then you start to see the sort of size that you're looking at with your bunny. That's why I would say if you want to make him into a door stopper or something. Not a million miles away in terms of size, plus you need to add your ears on. Gives extra height. And then the last one I've got for you is Daisy Duck. Controversial, Daisy with an IE. <laughs> Again, should be $8.99. And there we go, that is Daisy Duck. And um, grab the felt of your, ooh, felt, Daisy Duck felt for $4.99. Is that the Easter one? Oh, that's spring. So that one's spring, that one's Easter. Actually, the bear, the worn out bear and bunny would be worn out, it was warm, time worn. Would be great there as well, wouldn't it? Maybe a few, you know, maybe do some for Easter, maybe do some just for everyday ducks. It's a thing, an everyday duck. Uh, 4 99 ducks are, of course, my favorite bird. Yes, fabulous. What else have we got? Oh, the rabbits. Yes, this is another thing that we, I don't know if this was an accidental discount or if it was, if we meant to put a discount. Did we mean to put a discount on it? Well, either way, we've got a discount on it. We bought it in specially for Easter and then put a discount on it. Why not? So it should have been nearly nine pounds. Let me unravel a little. It's all, it's all the same pattern, by the way. But look at that. Two meters on each. Maybe use it as a trim, maybe just, you know, pop it on your dresser, in your kids' room, wherever. Dee, 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 dee. Get pink, blue, and yellow. Easter, done, 5 99 Yeah. Now, what else have I got to show you? Now, uh, fabric bundles very quickly over here. Very popular, by the way. So fabulous for your stash going to go with all your florals, um, extend all of your designer fabrics by adding in a plane. Easy, easy peasy. And of course, we've managed to match those tones beautifully. So $16.25 for your classic spring fabric bundle. You have got baby blue, cream, lilac, mint and pastel pink in no particular order for $16.25. Nearly half the stock of this is gone, but they just, they just keep on selling. So please do check out your baskets. If you are watching again on catch up, this is my top tip for you, is give us a call. If you see anything and you think it might have sold out, just give us a call because sometimes they bounce back. If you know, they've been in people's baskets so you think it's gone, always give us a call. 0800 1124 is free to do so. We don't charge you a penny for calling customer services. They're incredibly helpful. And if someone's got it sat in their basket and they haven't checked out, they have the power to just whop it out and, and give it to you because you're there with your money ready to buy. So that's why we always say to you, check out your basket if you really want it. It's not secure in your basket until you've checked out. Right, spots. These are your Easter parade spot-ons. And again, We've got baby blue, baby pink, primrose, kiwi, and lilac in there. 24.49, half a meter of each of those. You're sorted, you're done. Those Easter projects, sorted. Lovely. Oh, I love the springtime colors, makes me happy. Should we go over there? Oh, 
Hello, lovely Liberty. Where have these been hiding? Right, um, great Mother's Day gifts. Let's start with the pin cushions over here. Um, let, oh, the mouse. He's got a little bell, which you can't hear because it's in a plastic box. Uh, but look, he does. We uh, decided we love Liberty so much that we're going to bring you a Liberty mouse. Oh, no, he's coming out. He's coming out. There's his tail on a bit of cord. Now, this isn't a quilting weight. This isn't in a lawn. So you can use him as a, as a, a pin cushion. That feels a bit mean. Really? My cats would go crazy for him. Would it, is it a bit much to have that as a posh cat treat? 12.50. Look at his little felt ears. Oh, he is ridiculously cute. £12.50, UZEQ18. Oh, producer Hannah thinks her mum might like one of these. Oh, it won't. Let's ruin that surprise then. Um, <laughs> sorry. Okay, next up, apples or pears? Let's go pears. We've got two different colourways in your apples and pears. Um, you see, I, I would be happy to use this as a pin cushion and not feel mean. Let's go for the red one. Here we are. And this is your uh, Liberty Pink Mummy Pear Pin Cushion. We did have this fabric, but it's gone in the quilting weight. So maybe this would then match in. And you see, again, the felt accessory there. It's a nice, affordable way to get a spot of liberty in your life. £12.50. And there it is. It's a, it is a lovely gift, isn't it? In the 80s, when, um, when uh, dinner parties were fashionable, it always used to be my mum's dessert that she used to make, baked pear with chocolate coating over the top. Mm. Uh, this is £12.50, again. You see, I like this colourway. This is my favourite colourway. And this is your lilac mammy pear pin cushion. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, nice. Producer Anne always gets something Liberty print for her, her friend who likes sewing, but her name is actually Liberty. That's very handy. Liberty Day? Gosh. That's a good name, isn't it? Oh, I've got to start thinking names. It's really hard. Here we go. Uh, oh, she married the day. Okay. All right. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, well, that goes well. Goes very well. Yeah. Um, good choice. I hope she actually liked the man as well, didn't just go for the name. Uh, Liberty Lilac Mammy Apple Pin Cushion is £12.50. So look, you see, then you could get the collection. You've got a veritable fruit basket going on if you've got both. This is for the apple here. But I quite like that you could have a Liberty fruit basket. Mm. Again, you know, if you've got someone that's not feeling too well, you want to cheer them up, this is your alternative fruit basket. Uh, your Mammy in pink in your apple. Oh, this one's open. Whee, going in. Nice and squidgy. It's, you know, this is, this is my kind of stuffing. I'm an overstuffer. And this is nice and plump. There you go, look at that. Very nice in your felt. Beautiful detail. And as uh, producer Hannah says, quilting weight. There you go, £12.50. Oh, producer Hannah, you don't want to put pins in it either, do you? It's the mouse I couldn't put pins in. I could put pins in the apple, that'd be all right. Would you just have it on the side as a decoration, in a bowl? Put those in, the, in a little bowl on the side. Be nice, wouldn't it? Or you could give them a practical use. Um, now, you know what else we've got? Tree of Life. This is your raw edge applique pattern and instructions from Alice Caroline. Whoa, not just patterns and instructions. Look at all that liberty. Do you want to see what it actually is? Okay, so that's what it is. Raw edge applique kit. Now, you could put that onto anything. You could put that on a duvet. You could put it on a quilt. You could put it... Oh, you imagine if you had a massive, great big fleece blanket and then you had that as the detailing on there, a bit of liberty. Or maybe you want to put that um, on a cushion. But look what you get. All of those beautiful liberty fabrics. $74.99. That is stuck. There's a lot in there. Don't know if I'm allowed to open it. There's an awful lot in there. Do you want to see all the different fabrics that you're getting? Now you see those peacock feathers are my favourite Liberty fabrics. Such a popular quilt. Ever so pretty. So this is your patterns and your instructions for your Alice Caroline Tree of Life 
quote. What is the finished quilt size? 82 centimetres by 107. Cot quilt, lap quilt, wall hanging. Oh, I'd like that as a wall hanging, I think. You do get a snippet of all the different liberties. I bet there's a lot of liberty left over. I bet you there's a whole load. They're lawn liberty weights. I bet you get a lot left. So, and you get the pattern, raw edge appliqued. It's very pretty. I love that peacock. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, what, what was it inspired by? Oh, nice. Inspired by designs in the Victorian Albert Museum. Actually, you can see that, can't you? You can really see that. Now, producer Hannah, when you get your, um, your country house, it's going to set a treat in there, isn't it? Yeah. We just need to make that happen. $74.99. There you go. O-M-B-Y-17. This has also be done with a uh, needle turn applique, if you want to do it that way. The, you get patterns and the instructions. Um, it, they do it as raw edge applique, but it's entirely up to you. I think that's beautiful. Ooh. Um, now, very, very popular. Are these going to sell out today? Potentially. Potentially. Now, you see, we've said for Issa, but actually, I think if you're making little decorations for little ones, Obviously not that they can play with, because it is felt. You don't want them tugging them and eating them. Um, so if it's decorative purposes only. But I think that would be nice on a little trim. Maybe you could do it as a trim on a, um, on a mobile. That would be pretty. Five ninety nine. We say Easter, but, you know, a bunny is for life. VVGC32. Now, this should have been nearly £9, but for some reason we've put a great big discount on and taken it down to five ninety nine. Happy days. You get all three for that, by the way. It's not an either or situation. It's a and, and, and. I like and, and, and. Now, um, let's have a look at the website because lots of you going for this. Simply Sewing, our sister magazine, is three this week. Hurrah! Happy birthday, Simply Sewing. So in order to celebrate, because we like a good celebration here, um, we are giving you the chance, and this is just for this week, to save 50% on Simply Sewing. So that's, I mean, on the, on, when you come onto our main page on our website, there's a banner that flicks through, and this is one of those. And then click on that, and it will take you through as to where you can get that. Now, in Simply Sewing, you get all sorts of different sewing ideas, um, from dressmaking to craft sewing to all the sorts of toys and things that Joe Carter brings there, all in that magazine. But that's special offer just for the week. So make the most of that. And we're going to be making gorgeous bags after the break. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. So today I'm going to show you how to do a double stitch. Now you would use a double stitch at the start and the end of your sewing to uh, secure your threads rather than using a rig, really big knot. You're going to want to take your needle through the front of your fabric first and then come out back through the front. So I'm using really big stitches at the moment so I can see what I'm doing. You're going to leave a tail before you then repeat that in and out motion. So you can see that's one. I'm going to go back through again and that's two. So you can see I've done two stitches in the same place. That's giving me my double stitch. You would then do whatever stitch it is that you're going to go on to do. So I'm just going to do a quick running stitch. OK, so now I'm going to do my double stitch at the very end of my uh, stitch there. So it's repeating the process. So I'm going in, and then back out, in, and then back out before clipping my threads. So obviously you would clip these closer when you get to uh, finishing your garment. So there you have it. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best-selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. 
Every issue also comes with a free gift. Join us on Monday the 5th of March when Lucy Brennan is here with two stunning designs in quilting and foundation paper piecing. Lucy will first be making her gorgeous Grecian cross quilt at 9am in bright spring floral fabric. We've created an exclusive selection of quilt and cushion kits with everything you'll need to make your very own Grecian cross so you can sit back and relax whilst you watch Lucy work her magic. At 11am Lucy is back flying high with our hot air balloon quilt while Lucy demos the key techniques you can decide which kit you want. Sunshine bright polka dots or a more dramatic airborne display of rich jewel colours. So tune in and make sure you don't miss out on these creative projects on Monday the 5th of March at 9am and 11am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. Hello, welcome back. Now, uh, Deborah Sims is going to be back with us this hour. We've got fabric, we've got packs, um, we've got also patterns as well. So we've got a lot for you this hour. Do you want to see what we're making? Uh, we've been oohing and ahhing over these this morning. Look at this. So um, you might recognise it. This, this is my ultimate favourite Tanya Whelan fabric. Tula Pink, sorry, why am I thinking Tanya Tula? I've been prepping for another show. Which is, there we go. With a lovely lash lining in there. Beautiful. So you can make a couple of these. Yeah. Deborah wants this as a pencil case. So she, or to put her makeup brushes in to then put in there. So it doesn't get everything dirty. Now we have a bundle so that you can make those. Uh, it comes with full instructions. Here, there they are. This is your Tula feather and you're getting half a meter of each of the fabrics. So you get full instructions there. You get your iron-on interfacing as well, just reinforce it if you wish. <coughs> you're gonna get a zip to get you going as well. And that's a 25 centimeter zip. So you get one of those. Oh, the threads, they've been nicely chosen, haven't they? Look how well they go. Very nice. You've got to see this fabric. This is your tulip pink. Look at, oh, there you go. Look at those colors. I really need this in my life. We decided this morning I was going to make curtains out of these. And then we worked out that I needed nearly 20 meters, so I thought maybe just a trim would do. <laughs> Floor manager Chris is going, just no, just go for it. The whole lot. Yeah. Oh, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and you have enough in here to make more than one. But we've, we've put one zip in to get you going. And, uh, and then you can decide what size you want. Can I just... There we go. Oh. So there we are, 32.99. Uh, 32 pounds rather. Where did I get the 99 from? XXGC51 already. You're checking that out. Good. Don't miss out on this. XXGC51. Do not miss out on this. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Already you're going for it. And you get your craft wadding in there as well. I never have space on the desk for craft wadding. But it is coming in there. It's beautiful because it's always one of those things, isn't it? When you've got an exquisite fabric like this, how do I get this into my life? How do I get this so that I can use this day in, day out and enjoy it day in, day out? When this is, if you're like me and this is one of your favorite fabrics of all time, how can you? How can you get this in, in every single day? And then you get to enjoy it every single day. I mean, if you're really nice, you might make it for a friend, but... Not with that one. And now the next one. 
The next bundle, and Deborah's going to be working with this today, is the Flamingo one. Hey, do you want to see the instructions actually? Because these ones are open, just so you get an idea. Because you do get full instructions, so you know what you're doing, which is helpful. But you can always watch back the show, of course, as well. Are you going to watch this back, producer Hannah? Yeah, this is the one. And then, obviously, the template you would then size to whatever size you need it to be. Uh, now, you've got your iron-on interfacing. You've got a zip to get you going. You've got your two different pink threads because this one is all about the flamingo. There he is. They're only that colour because of what they eat. Do you know, you know, when they say that you are what you eat, it's very, very true with the flamingo, even more so. And then you also get, did they, I mean, is that flamingo pink that we've put with it, producer Hannah? Please tell me it is. You've got a lovely pink in there. 30 pounds and 80 pence, VVGC31. Hun, uh, 100 centimeters of fabric is what I'm gonna say. Otherwise known as a meter. Interfacing, wadding, zip, two threads. There's a lot actually, isn't there, in this kit? Plus your full instructions. Awesome. There we go. Ta-da! Now, we also have for you fabric bundles as well. So it might be that, you know, maybe you know how to make a makeup bag, but you just need some beautiful fabrics. Um, oh, maybe, yeah, maybe you just want the instructions and then you're gonna go for some other fabrics. These are different instructions for a different shaped bag. I like this square bag. Now, we don't have enough pattern of these to make up lots of different bundles. So what we've done is gone, do you know what? Have the pattern by itself. Maybe you've got fabric at home that you absolutely love that you've bought off the shows. Maybe you've got some in the Miss It Miss Out uh, this morning. In which case, make it in your life. Here we go, you've got travel bags. This is brand new today, $8.99. Do you want to see in any detail? So I just, you've got your patterns in there, but I just want to show you because what any designs are brilliant at are their instructions. They are so clear, really nicely um, laid out. Oh gosh, half the stock's already in baskets. What of the pattern? But you see, if you've ever worked with those, they're very, very clear and they use colors to show you right side, wrong side. And it's nice quality paper, yeah. So not, oh. <laughs> producer Hannah says, this isn't a one project wonder. No, it's not. It's a pattern that you keep. Well, let's face it. You know, when did anybody go, oh no, 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 makeup bags. No, they're not in this year. What? They're always in because they always get dirty and then you need to make more. And also they always make great gifts. You know, if you know somebody not quite sure what to get them, I bet they've got some makeup. Make them a makeup bag. They can always use it a pencil case if they need to. Deborah wants a pencil case, don't Deborah? Yeah, she wants a pencil case. If you're a stationary person, you always want that. Oh, producer Hannah's come up with a great idea, which I'll tell you a little bit more about later. But we've got something coming up, which means that you can maybe make one. And then, you know, when you go swimming and you've got that soggy costume, pop it in there and it won't get everything wet. I'll show you later. Now, over here, that will all make sense later. Maybe you've got that and now you need some fabric. We're always up for a bit of fabric. Or maybe you just love the fabric. It's great fabric. This is from our new, one of our newest collections here. And this is Forget Me Not, and this is from Denise Schmidt. Now, normally you might think, why do I know that name, Denise Schmidt? Normally we just bring you like, she does brilliant rainbows, pre-cut rainbow fabric bundles, and it's all perfectly in rainbow order, and you really don't want to mess with that. You just want to, but uh, inspired by growing up in Boston, these are her prints. So actually lovely to see a, a print from her. Now you are getting a meter of each of these fabrics. Isn't this lovely? So two meters of your Denise. And then we've put you a spot on. It is a lovely bundle. We know blues are always very popular. So these are the two Denise Schmidt fabrics are from her newest collection. Really lovely. Well, we other, otherwise we've only seen her planes, haven't we? We've never actually seen her patterns here at Stone Quarter. So that's a first. I'm enjoying that an awful lot. Clever lady. And I like that we've put the spot on in there, which reflects the spots in the design. Now, I see. 
I pay for thinking down there for dancing. Uh, right, here we go. Cherries. It's just the cherry on the top. I do love cherries. It's called Fruity Friends. Oh, no, for you, Fruity Friends. We haven't called it Fruity Friends. We should have called it Fruity Friends. Oh, it's from the Fruity Friends collection. And then we've put some lovely linear red in there. Yeah, apple spot on. Or is that apple kiwi? It is apple, yeah. When I don't have it next to the kiwi, I'm like, hang on, which one's which? Um, so that is your apple uh, and your cherries. Always reminds me of driving through, so you know, the southern counties during cherry picking season, you have those in the laybys, don't you have the big cherry pickers and you can just go and buy a great big bag of gorgeous ripe cherries. Mm -hmm. um, do, you, do you not like cherries, please, Anna? No, I really like cherries, really love them. They're always such a treat. Um, reminds me of, of um, living back in Sussex. Here we go. We've got here a spot on and then we've got two very, very pretty florals. And this bundle is going to come up on your screen. Again, three meters of fabric. So you're going to get a meter of each. You see, this is where, you know how we often say, vary the sizes. It almost works like that's a ditzy, that's your medium size, and then that's your larger size print. And this is from Katie Jane. This is um, from a Macau range. The Katie Jane collection is um, inspired by antique designs. And I think that really shows through here. Unashamedly pretty and feminine. And just really rather gorgeous. So perfect for what we're making today. 33 49 Maybe you're going to make some of these for Mother's Day. Yep. Easter gifts. Pop a bit of chocolate in there. Uh, the pattern on its own. Oh, that's about to sell out. Gosh, sorry. We um, are working for a different pa pattern today, but maybe it's just that you want the pattern so that you can... But I'm going to put that away now because it's A99. You've got more of, more of you have that in your baskets than we actually have stock of. Going. Now, in our bundles, you get the lot. So you get the pattern, you get the bundles, you get the, get the bundles, you get the instructions. That's what I'm trying to say. You also get the fabric, and you get a meter of fabric, half a meter of each, so that you can be making plenty. Um, you also get your thread, so we've matched the thread. So this is kind of this is the hard work done for you. You just have to pick which one you love. You also get your wadding, you get your interfacing. Because you see, half the time, that's the problem, isn't it? You love something, you've got some fabric, you want to make it, but actually, oh no, hang on, I'm scuppered because I don't have enough iron on interfacing. Or I don't have the right thread. So, don't they look beautiful? I want them, produce Anishes, I want them. I know it'll be a fight after the show for them. Yeah. In a very ladylike manner. Lady -like manner yeah. Obviously. A ladylike fight. I like yes, it. that's yeah. it. That, that's how we do it here. I love these. Deborah Sims is back. Welcome. Hello. Hello, thank you for coming back. No problem. Uh, <laughs> I relief. didn't make an escape. Yeah, no, no, because no, you know Zips. Uh, me and Zips. You and Zips. Is yeah. It, is it a, not a happy time? It's been a thing. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And I know I'm not a lie, uh, alone in... in uh, I'm, not, I'm not a lie. I'm not uh, a lie. You're not alone in your fear of the Zip. I am. I am here, really. Uh, not a hologram. Um, I'm not alone. Yes. Is what I'm trying to say. No, In you are my not fear alone. of the zip. People are very afraid of the zip. There's no reason to be afraid of the zip. Tell me, tell me what went wrong. Do you know? Well, at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> it all started when I was born. When I was seven. Yeah. <laughs> and we were made to put a zip into a sports bag that oh, we had to make. Yeah. Circular in each end and a zip. I was seven. That's not going to end well. I mean, no. to be fair, I think I'd struggle with that anyway. The only so. thing we'd made before was, was out of felt. <laughs> it was like a needle you went keeper straight into felt. Yeah. yeah. I Machine mean, stitching. If you can cut felt, then you can yeah. do a zip. Then clearly zip. you can That's do a zip in a sports rules. bag. Yeah. So yes. I am interfacing my lining. Do it. Um, so basically, I've just put the shiny side up against the fabric. Yes, because that's got the gluey bit on. Yes, exactly. And I'm just not swishing your iron backwards and forwards, just holding and pressing okay. over the fabric. So it's a press rather than an iron. Yes, exactly. Because you want to heat up that glue. And nice your and instructions hot. have told you how big to cut this to. Yes, exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Um, so the template that you get is for the, the pencil case makeup brush tiny holder thing. And the instructions have, you get measurements for this size. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, this is from the Pink Flamingo set. 
which is down the bottom for you. So if you're after a flamingo. Who oh, breaking really? news as well. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Yay! Well, good day. This is what's going on today. Oh, that it looks amazing. I'm so happy oh, as funny. well. You see, when he takes off the hat, there yeah. are actual ears. That's very there. exciting. And he's got his little red wellies on. He um, looks so happy. He is ready. This is my son, by the way. This is this is Fred. Just in case you thought we were just randomly yeah. showing pictures. Just random, of random. That, that is actually my child. Uh, ready for World Book Day. Yeah. His, you see, because I wasn't there, I had to stay in a hotel last night, so I haven't seen oh, him. Oh, so my sad. Husband had to send me a photo. So that there he is, with the dog in attendance. Yeah. Spaniel, obviously. Always there. Yeah, yeah. Potty in the background. It's classy. I made a set of. Um, oh, now you see Victoria Pete's book, kids of her uh, pictures of her kids for World Book Day as well oh, on the good. front page. So it's all, it's all on there. It's all, it's all going goal. On. It's all good. Right, so I've now pressed that. You can see that they're kind of attached to one another. Yes. And it just makes the quality of the fabric slightly different, slightly it's stronger. It's sturdier, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So sometimes we want that drape, sometimes we want it a little bit reinforced. Yes. We've also put the wadding in there, so if you yes. wanted to quilt it... Well, we also need wadding, so I'll show oh, you. Going all in. Going in all in. for pounds. Exactly. Got it. Use it. Yeah. yeah. Um, you get a lot, too. You do get a lot. This is... I've already cut, I think... I think this is the one I use for all of them so far, and it's I've still got like some it. left over. Yes, so. I think it's a metre square or something quite vast like that. Yeah, no, it's look. more than a metre, I think. You've had a good hack at that. I have. I've yeah. used a good amount of that. Yeah, good, for, good on you. There we go. I think I got sent about five bags as well, so I have brought some back. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Could have insulated your house. Yeah, with it, exactly. You know? But well, I need it today. We're thinking of you in this weather. Yeah. Clearly, clearly. <laughs> Keep me I warm. like to think of that as my my fabric stash is is acting as insulation. Yeah. We live in an old drafty house. Yeah. I'm just helping. You're just creating extra it's, help. Uh, it's it's um, yeah. It's it's heating rating. I like it. It's good. Yeah. That's okay. how I justify it to myself. Well, good. Yeah. So what I've done is I've just loosely cut around and given myself a little bit of extra around the outside. You tend to do that with quilting, don't you? Because yeah. Because it, it can sort of pull in a little bit. It can bit. shift and change, can't it, as you go around. So I'm just going to tack that in place where we're going to do the zip because I think the important thing to do today is the zip. Make sure yes. everybody gets to see that and how it works. So. Oh, producer, oh, and also producer Hannah says because she's actually going to go home and make this. Yeah. Could you please make sure that the zip's covered because she's a little bit nervous. A little bit too. nervous. We will cover all stages, not just tailor-made show for me and Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you want to learn something too, that is also, also Everyone's learning. fully possible. Everyone's learning. And let's face it, if me and Hannah oh, need to learn it, away. Could you there will be other people. I was tidying. Sorry. Sorry. Really unhelpful. Oh, producer Hannah just wants a new makeup bag. Well, you're going on your travels, aren't you, producer Hannah? You're going off to London, aren't you? Staying with friends. So, do you want me to... Um... Yes, please. Thank you. Weather allowing. Weather allow. Oh, yeah. Gosh, yeah, no, I've got to try and get to London. Who's gone to New York? Oh, you're going to New York. She's a bit jet set, isn't Hannah? That's very exciting. I know. When are you going there? End of May. Oh, it might be a bit warmer by then. You see, I have a love-hate relationship with New York. It freaks me out a bit because the first time I went there, I was like, I kind of recognise you. Oh. <laughs> because it's been in so many films, it's yeah. like, oh, it's like, oh. almost know where I am. No idea, completely lost. Feel I know where I am. Yeah. But no, turned out it's I didn't. It's a strange one. Had quite a long walk back to the hotel. So, I can see now that that also has. So what you want is, because, because this one makes the fabric crisper, you want that on the inside. Crispy on the inside? Yeah, because you want the soft outside texture of the fabric to be on the outside. It's like the opposite to the armadillo. Yeah, you exactly. You want that crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Exactly. Um, now, hang on, on a minute. On. You've, you've sewn, you've done a long stitch, actually, quite yeah. a long basting stitch all the way around, all yeah. four sides. Just to hold it in place right. while we do our zips, because if we... Are we doing the zips first, or are we quilting first? We're not doing quilting, we're just we're not doing adding it to uh, the inside. You can quilt it. Yeah. Yes, you can quilt We're it not. if you wish to, but this just that's... goes in the middle. Okay. Yeah. That's what threw me there. Yeah, no, you would quilt the pieces, I think, because otherwise it would be very difficult. Yeah, in my head we were going to quilt it. Oh. I, don't, I mean, we never actually said that in prep, so I don't know why in my head. I think oh. it was just made as a suggestion. I, I went with it. I ran Fair with it. Fair enough. You yeah. ran with it. Yeah. yeah. But that's, the, that's, you know, it's a, good, it's a nice, simple pattern, so if you do want to add extra embellishments, etc., you can do like quilting, like some embroidery stitches, or write someone's name across it. Nice. That would be nice. I'd like nice. that. Nice. Especially or for kids. If you've got your letters. 
you one could put an initial. initial, big initial on there. So they're, you could have a big flamingo right initial. Now. Yeah, that would be amazing. I'd love that. Because you do get plenty of fabric in here. You're getting a whole metre, half metre of each. So there's lots. Yeah, there's plenty left over as well if you yeah. want to do. Oh, well, you see, that makes more sense then as to why you've gone around all four sides. Yeah. Because you're not actually quilting. Yeah. And we're just keeping it in place. So. Keeping it real. What we do is, if you, could you trim the edges for me? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'm keeping you busy today, aren't no, I? No, 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 that's good. Would you like to pass me the rotary cutter, please? I would. There you and go. We'll do that very thing for you. Thank you very much. Right, so, for the zip, yes. the definitely not scary bit. Okay. Where's my little bits of... Have they fallen down? What you lost? I had some little squirts. Here they are. They're on the floor. Oh, on the floor. They are very small. They're stored carefully They're about on this the big, floor. One inch by two and three eighths. And they enclose the end of your zip. Can you see here, this one has these... Oh, I really like tabs that. at the bottom. So it doesn't end up going straight into the edge... It's much neater. And so, I like the flash of colour. Yeah, it's very nice. So what you do is open your zip. Let me put this here so you can see this properly. Like that. What you can do if you want to is just do a few stay stitches at the top of your zip because you're going to hold that together. Right. Yeah, but what that does is you get your tab, place it so that your edges are together there and what you're going to do is stitch that closed and then it will leave an extra tab to work with at the end. And there is my zip fear, having to stitch over the edge of a zip. Well, you don't have to stitch over the edge, you just stitch in and you can do it this way around so you can actually see what you're doing. Oh, even better. Oh, no, okay. Like that. Know. And then you, you're, not, you're not going to catch that little bit, you're just going to do go sort of here. Okay, all right. Yeah. I will put and with it being the, these newer zips, the plastic ones, they don't break a machine or anything if you do that. You okay. know, if you do end up just going go through slowly. the bits, just go slowly. These newfangled zips, they're good, aren't they? They are. There we go. So, pop that down under your foot. Still Shorten my stitch from earlier. There we go. And then forwards, back, and forwards again. So that's just one end and then you fold it back on itself so there's no more edges, is that right? That's right. I'm with you, I'm with you. That. you see? Did you so say that has gone very quiet? She's concentrating. She's concentrating, she's just trying to learn how to do this, <laughs> isn't she? So have is. I got time to make one tonight? How long does this take to make? It took me an hour to make one. Okay. So if you've not done it before, maybe a couple Little of longer. hours, a few hours maybe, just so that you take your time over it and don't rush. Um, but I, I made about 13 of these for the Christmas presents this year, so. Did you? Yes, I did. You're a whiz at them Yeah, then. whiz at the wake-up bags. There was um, a lovely lady on our fan page who has just retired from the NHS after, I think it was 37 or 38 wow. years. And she made all of her team personalised little <gasps> makeup bags. Oh, that's lovely. It's gorgeous. How nice Absolutely is that? Absolutely gorgeous. So you can now see that nice. both ends of your zip are enclosed. And you've extended your zip, so if you don't have exactly the right size zip, or if you wanted to do a bigger bag, because quite frankly, you've got a lot of stuff, yep. then you can do so. And that should take it up to pretty much end to end nice. with your seam allowance. So you're just gonna Excellent. match, make sure you zip the tab, do we call it a tab, puller? Zipper. Zipper, make sure that's the face down. Okay. Yeah, because that's going on the inside, on the outside. And what we're gonna stitch is the inside. Okay. So, just trim these off. Should get the little scissors really, but you know. Needs must. Where's my pins? Here we are. Okay, so. Just at one end. Yep. And then the other, making okay. sure it's as central as you can. If there's an extra bit on either side, that doesn't matter as long as your zip is in the middle. Okay, all right. Obviously, you don't want it to be too much, but a little bit is not is fine. Now, what we discovered is that our English paper piecing glue yes. is great for basting and zips. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. So, producer Hannah, you can get your, your glue stick out. Yeah. She's that's like, exciting. Oh, I'm gonna do that. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. All these different uses that we find for different things. Yeah, well, this is the thing, is that sometimes with sewing, you can end up being in a bit of a silo. You sort of, you only work in your area mm. and you don't learn about the things that are other people are doing in other things that could be really useful to you. Yeah. So, so we're going to go with the zipper foot. 
Okay. Have you seen the zipper foot before? Yes. So, you've got here, let me show you that there. Yeah, you see the thing It's with the narrow zip? like that. Yeah. And you can see in this one, there's a place where you need us to go straight down the middle. Yeah. And there's a gap on either side. So okay. it depends where your zip rests. You see there. So if you're if you're trying to get close to these teeth, mm. you go up against that and there's and the your needle should go through oh, that hole there okay. on that side. So the one closest to yeah. You see, this is it. I, I can do zips, but I always have to because I don't do them regularly. I yeah. have to really stop and think about it. And this is a point where that's I'm like, which way? Yeah. So that's what you get with this machine. With other machines, you have one where there's a bar across the top, but it's split in two. So ah. the same rule applies. You just want to get cl as close to the teeth as possible. Okay. So right. if you have to swap to eat, d depending on which side it is. Okay. Okay. Makes so. Sense. Swap your foot over. Um, when we moved house, I was having a good old clear through. And I actually, because I, I started sewing on my grandmother's 50-year-old plus Singer machine. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and I actually found, I didn't know that I had it, um, the zipper foot that she had. <gasps> and That's it, amazing. Yeah, it looks very different. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Because um, this has got sort of a blunt blunt edge to it this is all curved and what have you but it's yeah. really lovely to have yeah Should probably be in a museum by now probably there's some amazing things from old machines some ingenious ideas that people had mm. so you're just gonna follow where that oh i should have sandwiched hang on i did this every time last time as well oh yeah because we've got the backing to put in as well lining as well so make sure that's on the top and pin that in place as well Okay. So instead of being able to see where your zipper feet are, you have to feel with it your finger. It sort of slots into the groove, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah, definitely. Here we go. And this is nice because it makes it nice and easy, nice and fast as well, because you've done all three layers at once now. Nice, nice. Which is And good. again, it's, it's remembering you're trying to do it for your London trip that night. Remember, yes. Oh. If producer Hannah, you're trying to do this for your London trip. Here you go. <laughs> um, now then, uh, just a quick note for those of you that are asking, and there are, there are a few of you, mm. saying, where can I get that tulip fabric as well? Because they're going to need to make extras. Um, if you go onto the website, there is a whole section dedicated to tulip pink fabrics, so which are with her latest designs on there, some, a few from, from her older ranges, but mainly her brand new ones that she launched when she came here um, in February mm. with John. Um, and the what, sorry? Oh, and the eyes tail fabric, fail, the feather fabric is the one that we've got if you want to buy extras because you're going to want to make them for everyone. Yeah, for but everybody. please don't buy too much of it because I would really like to trim my curtains. <laughs> <laughs> so. And also the Tudor bundle, sorry. <laughs> no, nope, go ahead. Keeping. The Tudor bundle, which is up on your screen at the moment, there. Okay, when everybody checks out, we're in single figures. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Okay. So what I've done is the zip was open up to this point. Right. Yeah. So I've opened, but now I can feel that there is a bump where yeah, that Yeah, there's a bump is. in the road. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just take your needle out, pop your foot up, try not to move your fabric around too much, but then zip that zipper closed uh, past the line. Okay. Yeah. And then pop that down again. And off you go. If in doubt, if you think you've moved that zipper foot a bit, can you go back and go back over the yeah, last stitch? Yeah, absolutely, sure yeah. You are Not a need problem to be. at all. Um, if you want to take it out, um, you know, take it, just go back on yourself a few stitches, go forwards, take the whole thing out, move the zipper. Oh, so that's okay to do again. too? It's absolutely fine, yeah. So I forget there's no sort of sewing police. It's no. whatever's going to make that zip in there secure. And nice and easy and not too stressful for you. So that you can now see there... We've got one side of the zipper tape still to go. Mm -hmm. This one's enclosed on the side yes. and that lining's there. So what's going to happen is that is going to go inside it like that. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Do I have to top stitch anything? We will have to top stitch it, because yes. Because otherwise the fabric along will get this stuck. Edge. So let's get this other side of the zip done. Okay. I'm and then I'll show you the, the rest. So Yeah, you see, this first. is where I have to think again. What is my sandwich? What is your, yes. Also, I'm not talking lunch. No. I'm talking well, zip sandwich. Well, sounds good, but. It is, it is nearly lunchtime, and to be fair, in the 11 o'clock hour, I do generally start talking about food. <laughs> so, so what so happens is, 
the if you think of it this way, you can see that fabric here, the plumbing goes, right? Yes. You can see that that's the right side. Make sure you've got the corresponding one right sides yeah, together. Right sides together, yes. In which case, you're all right. You're good. Right. Yeah? Okay, good. So you're going to place that on top, right sides together again. Just place that, pin that in a couple of important places. Now, what we've done before, oh no, we can do that there. You don't have to worry about that yet. What I was about you to see, say. you've got to think about zips. You've got to think it through a Even lot of the time. Even though I was a guest, having to think about the zip. There we go. So, do that, and then you're going to sandwich again, which is... Where's my sandwich gone? There. You see, you've got to think about sandwiches yeah, too. Yeah, but I always have to think... Yeah. I'm always thinking sandwiches. Everything isn't always, you know, obvious, you know, especially if you're not going through looking at the instructions. Always refer back, that's what yes. I do. Yes, absolutely. And don't be afraid to do that, don't you know, because otherwise you're going to have to do a bit of unpicking. Yeah, that's so, rubbish. So, flamingos face down. Flamingos right sides zipper, together. Zipper face up. Yep. yep. Zipper, and then your fabrics then your right fabric sides together again. Oh. Oh, so that's the rule of thumb then? Yep. Right sides together zip on the in fabrics. The, zip in the middle. Yeah. Easy peasy. Why has that always been a stumbling block for me when you put it like that? It seems very simple, it doesn't does, it? It does, doesn't it? What's Pattern great about this... fabrics right sides together, lining fabrics right sides together, yeah. zipper in the middle, whoosh, Straight down. I think the complication is that what's great about this is you can tell because it's a rectangle and you can see the diff like that bit is very simple, yes. so you don't have to think about the other. Whereas when you start to have things that are different shapes, mm. it confuses you with the right sides and the because you've got other things to think about, haven't you? Yeah. But this is a nice way of, of just, if you made a few makeup bags and you did it that way, you'd remember that better for next time you tried to do a more complicated shape. Producer Hannah's just said, I can totally do this. You can totally you do can, this. Hannah, you can totally do it's this. Easy. We're right behind you. There we go. Not in like a scary stalkery kind of way. No. We're, but we're right but behind like, you there. Yeah. I want to say morally, but that's not what I mean, is it? Morale. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, producer Andrew said, and I don't think she's alone in this, she said 3D constructions scare her. Oh. It's just it's just not the way her brain works. Yeah. And I'm the same when Joe Carter's here and, and she brings these weird and wonderful shapes and goes, this is a head. How is do it? I know? <laughs> is it? And then, you know, a couple of stitches later and sure enough, it's a head. It appears. Um, so th this is kind of the same if you're not... And everybody's brain works differently, doesn't it? So, yeah, and I think you... You have to operate sometimes in sewing on a bit of blind faith. I think you have to just kind of go back to the to the to the instructions, and even though it doesn't make sense to your brain, do it anyway, or even just tack it in place. You know, oh, you could first do that. time for, if it doesn't make sense to you and you think it's wrong, just tack it first, and then you'll understand it better next time round. So we should now have hey, one there zip it is. in the middle, nice like that. You see. So you can see now how it would work, can't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. So what we what we're going to do is and we're going to top stitch down these sides. Yeah. We're going to put these sides together, and those sides together, and stitch all the way around. The okay. Outside. This is what this is another sticking point for me. Yeah. Okay. Because at some point I've got to go over that. Yes. That bit there, which is showing through, is the it's the complicated bit. So do I. Do I do it that way or do I do it that way? So basically, it's always going to create a bump. So what you want to make sure is that bump is on the inside and not on the outside. Does that make sense? So can you so see here on this one? Yeah. You've got a fold. Oh, a that little, bit of a, a bump there. Bump yeah, 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 yeah. But instead of it sticking up, it's yes. going inside the bag. Yes. You want to make sure it goes inside the bag. How do I do that? So which so way is it going to be? It's going to go towards the lining because the lining is, is on, on the, the inside. inside. Makes sense? Of course, yeah. yes. There you go, you see? Right, so we'll press this down and then do some top stitching. Okay, yeah, then because then can... you don't get that where the, where the fabric stick, sticks to the zip. Yeah. Um, whilst you press that down, let's yep. have a quick look at these bundles. Fab. Here we go, so uh, the tulip pink. Well, no, the, uh, the flamingo one. Let's start off with the one we're making. That makes more sense. Um, <laughs> the uh, flamingo one is thirty pounds and eighty pence for a meter of fabric, and your interfacing, and your wadding, and two threads, and a zip, and full instructions. <sighs> a lot in there. <laughs> so of course you can make more than one bag because otherwise that would be an expensive bag. Yep. But just um, you then can choose what zip size you want because once once you know what you're doing, the world is your oyster or flamingo. It's entirely up to you. 
Yep. So now your Tula. Oh, Tula pink. Now uh, we are into single figures with the Tula. Please. Oh, hang on a minute. Just before before we do that, mm -hmm. let's just see very quickly what Deborah's doing. Okay. Oh, still with the zipper foot on. I've kept the zipper foot on because this foot is great because it's the right. If you keep that butted against your seam, mm. it will show you direct, exactly where you want your top stitch line to be. Also, if you've done your zip feet quite close to the top of the bag, I do that. You're gonna struggle to get past the zip if you if you use your, if you don't use your zipper foot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on then. Let's see. Can this. you see? So you can see that there's the edge of that. Just butt that up against the edge of where your seam is. So the edge of the foot against the yeah. uh, edge of the material which you, you fold and yeah, press so down. Yeah. So that bit is there. Against okay. your flamingos. Yeah. Can I also say well done on getting your flamingos the right way up? Because that's oh, another thing you. that I forget. Yeah. Is that you know flamingos fabrics do are have directional. A direction. Yeah. Yep. That's always a bit of a sticky well, You are point. going really tight there. Good on you. There and you keep go. manipulating that fabric so that it's it's not already sticking in the zip's yep. path. Try and keep those teeth away from it as well. I'm not sure if I can actually get in any closer to see it. <laughs> you can oh, come no, around no, this way. My nose is practically in the sewing machine, <laughs> but I need to know. Just like, I need to know how this works. Yeah. There I'm we surprised go. producer Hannah isn't flanking you on the other side. <laughs> she's like, no, hang on a minute. Just surrounded. We're not going to look at the other bundle yet. Okay. Quick, I need to see this bit. Pop your foot up. Exactly oh, the same as you did before. Yeah. Just move that out the way. Oh, that felt easier that time. Yeah, because it's not on the inside, it's on the outside, ah, okay. so you can see it better. I'm always dropping pins when I'm on here. Oh, that's all right. Quite a magnetic <laughs> pin cushion will just come and do a little sweep. There you go. So you can now see that should be a nice, neat line. So you can right zip that down. up and down quite happily and, uh, and never catch your, your fabric in the edge because that's so annoying. It is really annoying, isn't it? Really annoying, but right now you're not going to do it. Yeah, exactly. That's so neat. Yeah. Ooh, you're good at this, aren't you? Thank you. That's just because I've, I've used what I had available on the sewing machine. If you try and do it by eye, you'll always go wrong. If you use something that you can see and actually just keep following it and take your time over it, it's a lot easier to be neat. Okay, I'd to be neat. Yeah, it, it take, takes a long time. <laughs> I just love the flamingo fabric. I'm well. much more, um, I am much more of a haphazard sewer than some as well. I like to really, kind of, I, yeah, yeah, I like cost. to just go for it and do really? things and sometimes it's a bit wobbly and that's okay. Whereas, um, a few well, people otherwise, I know are not like that. Yeah, very. but you know what? If if you want absolutely perfect, go and buy it from shop. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Is and that even then, it's not always perfect. What I what I love to see is the difference between something that you made when you first started out sewing and the difference you of, get of years of work. And if you've if you were so perfectionist about it the first time round, and it, you you finally got it after twenty goes. You might hate the thing for one, and also you don't get to see that progression the next That's time true. you make it. That is very true. Now, um, a lot of you saying, "Please come and see the other bundle." Please come and see the other bundle. Um, you showed us the flamingos, but we need to see the tulip pink one. Here it is. So, if you're after this, how many have we got left of these? Oh, producer Hannah's just having a quick look. Um, so, this is thirty-two pounds. You get oh, less than five. Um, you don't get less than five. We have remaining less than five. You get. Your craft wadding, you get your interfacing, you also get a zip, two different threads, which match perfectly with the fabric, may I just add. Um, your instructions and half meter of tulip and half meter of your um, gorgeous green in there. And if you want the fabric by itself, because you know you're gonna make more, that is your iris, iris, yeah, I've said that right, haven't I? That's the color of the iris, and then that's the feathers and in tulip pink. So if you head to the website, and you go on the fabrics, and then there's a whole section just dedicated. So we are heading towards more people having you in that in the basket than we have stock of. So you know what I'm going to say. Please check out your baskets. Please check out yes. your baskets, yes. Right, so I've just done what we said earlier about tucking that in towards the lining okay. on the inside. It's, very, it's quite difficult to see, but you can see that it'll, it'll just fold that under. I'll try and show you there. Yeah, it's just folding that in. And that down. Mm -hmm. So you get everything neat and tidy. Mm -hmm. Now, in a minute, when you start to stitch that down, mm -hmm. I'm going to go and um, do a little demo of my own. Oh, lovely. Da, da, da. That's exciting, isn't it? Well, if it goes right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, if it if goes not, wrong. Nah. Not so great. Uh, you know, the joy of live TV. We'll soon see. Um, so, pin all the way round. Do you yeah. have to leave a turning through hole? Yes, um, and okay. leave it quite big, about 10 centimetres. Okay, all right. In the lining? In the lining, yeah, because okay. you're going to then slip stitch that shut. So, would you start sort of there? Yes. And then... Work so all the way around ball. and leave a big gap at the bottom. Okay, all the way around and then hands width. Yeah. And what before you start sewing, make sure your zip is at least halfway open. Because well done, it's <laughs> Why, how uh, how have I, how do I know that information? But yeah, it's you need it to be. It's at least harder to open. shimmy open a zip from the wrong side. It is. From the inside it's really hard. Quite tricky. Yes. Uh, so don't put yourself in that situation. No, exactly. Don't do it, don't do it. I'm gonna leave you to sew that. Fabulous. And uh come with me. Because mm. Because, okay, here's the scenario. Oh, here's the scenario. Uh, you've made your makeup bags, and then you realise, well, hang on a minute. Uh, my makeup generally spills everywhere, and I don't want to ruin my fabric. So what am I going to do? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a little pot of this. Now this is eau de coat. Now we've had this on in the past, and it's just sold out and gone like that. So basically, any cotton fabric you can use this on, and it will turn it into um, effectively an oil cloth. So it, it's going to give you a, a water repellent coating on there, and it does that from the very first coat. The more layers that you add, um, the more uh, gloss you, fa you get. But from the first coat, you will get that, that waterproof on. And you just keep using it then as a normal cotton. You just sew it like a normal cotton. You don't need any special feet or anything like that. But you do have to eau de coat your fabric before you cut it, before you start to use it. And it works. We've done, I mean, we've done this on, um, on various items. We've eau de coated them when they're made and that's been fine, but you do advise, they do advise for you to eau de coat. So for example, this is, um, I, actually I have this fabric, I love it. This is your Lewis and Irene lobsters. And can you see that it's got a, a slight shine to it? That's your eau de coat. Now that means that that is now waterproof. Now, I, in fact, I'll show you, look. I'll show you, shower proof. It's, basically it's all just gonna drip off. Okay, so here it is, here's my water. You ready? How close in do you want to get? Can you see it just... Should I do it on a darker one? And then you might be able to see it a bit better. Here we go. Perfect. So it might be that you don't want this on the outside. It might be that you do the lining so that it doesn't, you know, any makeup or anything doesn't then penetrate through. It's entirely up to you. So, um, what you are going to need is a paintbrush, your eau de coat, um, and I've got producer Hannah's old bank card. She said that's fine. I didn't rifle through her wallet, by the way. But, but actually, no, she did. And she found an extra 40 quid, actually, which she didn't know she knew. So, you know, happy days. Um, right. So, get your odor coat, open up. It, it will dry clear, OK? It's going to be a little bit sort of opaque -y. Don't worry. Get... Get your... And you want to just... Get a bit messy, it's all okay. Just get it in there. Um, and you know, you, you're, you're fine to do this. It will wipe off your surface as long as you don't let it dry on there. And just make sure that you've popped that all on there. I won't do this whole piece because otherwise it's quite a lot. But you can see already that there's kind of a gloss going on. And uh, be quite generous with it, get it in there. And, you know, all of a sudden, I mean, think, when Deborah saw this morning, she said, I want to make an umbrella. Why not? Now, so pop it on there. Why not? Get uh, producer Hannah's bank card or your own, old store card, whatever. An old one, by the way. I'd just like to say this has run out. I'm not, you know, leaving her stranded without money. It's all fine. And <laughs> just just to say, and you want to work it. So you've got your warp and your weft thread. So when, it, when your fabric is woven, you've got, you've got strands of thread going that way, you've got strands of threads going that way. So you want to work this into your fabric in both directions, okay? And this is why they, um, they recommend that you don't cut your fabric to size, first of all, because can you see already there's a little bit of stretch there. And so you want to work it into the fabric one way, like that. It's a satisfying noise like that. And then you're gonna have some in there that can either go back in your pot or whatever. And then 
your colours aren't running or anything here. And then you do it the other way. So you do it so that the warp threads are covered, your weft threads are covered, and you are good to go. So you're really working that into your fabric. Both ways, so the warp and the weft all covered. That's how you're going to get that coating. There we go. And then whatever you've got left is fine just to um, pop back into the pot. There you go. And uh, there you go. You can get back spending. Oh, there we go. Um, and then you leave that to dry. You might want to just and, uh, and just clean off. Whoops. Clean up your mat a bit. Of course, I've just put water everywhere instead, which is always fun with electrics in a studio. La, 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 la. But just wipe it off your mat or whatever you've done it on. Yeah, do wipe your mat sooner rather than later and maybe hang that up somewhere to dry. But when that is hung up and dried, it only takes about an hour to dry, that's fine. You then, oh, Hannah speeds up with a hairdryer. She's impatient, she can't wait. Well, she's got a train to catch, hasn't she? She's going to London. Um, then you, um, you then cut it and use it exactly like you would the cotton, like you've seen uh, Deborah do, just use it as you would like that. Uh, it's absolutely fine. If you want that glossier finish, when it's dry, add another coat. It doesn't make it more water repellent or anything like that. It just adds more of a gloss, more of a gleam to the fabric. So if you're after it for sort of added texture so that it really, it really does look glossy, then do that. But otherwise, this will just give a, a water repellent coating. And, and then, you see, you can see where it's half and half there. There we are. And that will then dry. And it doesn't affect the color of the fabric or anything like that when that dries you're going to be good to go. So you can see the half that I've done that on, that'll dry. Happy days, it is that easy. So don't be afraid to odor coat, it's great fun. Get the kids involved, get them odor coating stuff too. There you go. Now, pop my brush in there. Have I got any fabric? No, I haven't got any of my fabric bundles by themselves. So let's have a look at these on uh, still pictures instead, because obviously I wasn't tempted, wasn't. Oh, this is the forget-me-not bundle. Um, which is Denise Schmidt's first fabric bundle that we have brought to wear here. Normally we just bring her planes and she does the most beautiful rainbow arrays of pre-cuts. Um, but we've managed to get this range, which is really lovely. It's $14.99. We've put a Macawa spot on in there as well, which kind of echoes the spots in her uh, larger design there. So you've got two Denise Schmidt's and half a meter of your Macawa. Oh no, it's a meter, isn't it? Have you? No. Okay, so the, okay, so the details are down the bottom. I was looking at the Odie coat price going $14.99 for three meters of fabric. No, this is the Forget Me Not Fabric bundle. It's $39.49 for three whole meters of fabric. Wonderful. That's one. There we go. I'm back. Hello. Hello, what How you are doing? you? I'm good, thanks. So what I'm doing now is I've gone all the way around okay. and I've just I've turned it out just to check that everything was caught inside. I'm happy with that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is make make this shape. Ah, so the kind of boat shape. The boat shape, yes. So what I've done is I've just got the square here and lined it up against that diagonal. So the 45 degree, if you use yeah, that. Yeah, like that. Point that there up to the two and a half inches mark. And you go gonna... straight in, you can cut it straight across. off. Terrifying, but brave. Yeah. There we go. Done. Oh, See, isn't a rotary cutter far easier when it's actually got a sharp blade? It in. is very nice. It's easy. one of those things that is, is when you um, you finally get around to replacing a, a needle in your in your machine mm -hmm. or a blade in your rotary cutter. You go, Why was I struggling? Why didn't I just do this Why sooner? Just do this sooner. Um, I did do it wrong. Oh, did you? Yeah. What did you do wrong? Um, well, I've cut right across there, mm. but what you should do yeah. is pull the two sides apart. Oh, so you're like you're boxing it across out? There. Yes. Ah, so boxing okay. it. Sorry, I'm distracting no, you. No, it's not your fault. Well, it generally is. No, all right. I'll blame you then. That's it was all right. you. I'm comfortable with that. Terrible. Oh. There we go. So, what we're going to do is line that up with the inside stitching because that's the bit that you're going to see. Yes. So if you if you line if I it push up that to, down, then you're going to yeah, see it. Go. Yeah. If you line it up against the edge of the of the fabric, yeah, you'll have your your seam won't match 
right. the lining. So make sure you've got the ruler matched up to there. Pop that down. Try again. Lovely. Perfect. Perfect. And again, you do this on all four corners. Yeah. Excellent, because you want that lining to fit Inside, perfectly yeah, too. Inside, yeah, exactly. Can you hold that down again for yeah. me? Yeah. Thank you. So we can get that camera in to see. There we go. Make sure everything lies nice and flat and your seams are matching against each other underneath. Mm-hmm. Slightly crispy, so you just have to manoeuvre it around Bit of jiggery-pokery. Yes, exactly. Yes. There we go. But it's just taking, it's spending that time, isn't it? Taking that to get it, to get yeah, it just right. Yeah, exactly. There we go. And so line that central point of the two and a half inch mark up to that stitch line, that seam line. So straight across, and last one. Ha ha. And this is going to give this wonderful shape that we've got here. And also makes it, um, kind of makes me feel I can fit more in. Yeah, exactly. Which is weird, because yeah. you've kind of taken some of the area out, but yeah. somehow you've made more space. You've made more space for bigger Strange. things, sort of yes. rounder things. Cause yes. you, you, um, like bottles and things. Yeah, exactly, hairspray. Always hard to get into a makeup bag. There we go. Are you a hairspray kind of a girl? Uh, a little bit, yeah, but not a lot. Just enough to hold my hair in place, basically. Although when my, um, when my grey first started growing in, it just grew as a, like a little inch of like tufty hair at the nice. top of my head. It's, so a, it's amazing use, how it loves to do that. It was exciting. So I had to use some hairspray to like stick it down. But I mean, your hair has grown grey in a very stylish manner. It's quite nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, no, I'm I, impressed I, with how it's done it, really. I thought that that was a hairdressing choice. Mm, yeah, I thought well. that you'd actually had it dyed that no, way. No, it just started growing in that way. And actually underneath, there's none there. It's like the opposite to how people normally go grey. You've really ombre your own hair. I've ombre my own hair. That's amazing. I just thought about it a lot and then it just happened. And you just happened to stylishly get grey. Yeah, it's exciting, isn't it? Really good. Yeah, good I'm job. It. Thanks. Good grey. Well, well done, done. Hair. Yeah. Good work. Hey! Done well there. My Proud hair never does what I want it to uh, do. Well, I didn't really want it to do anything, so I guess it's just. But you weren't disappointed. It's just exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Low expectations. It just looks like highlights. Yeah, it is exciting. I did have the bottom of it bleached, so it's kind of, now it's all three colors at once. I, I, I love a good color combination. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So, right across. Yep. Two eighths of an inch seam allowance. Yep. It's all in your instructions as well. Yeah, and make sure you just, and then you should have a nice flat line across okay. there. I'm just gonna do all of the sides. Oh, okay, so the Tula Bundle has now sold out. Congratulations if you managed to get your hands on that. Um, have we got some of the flamingo left? Yeah, still got a little bit of the flamingo left if you're after a spot of flamingo. I do love a flamingo. That's exciting. And your Odie coat is down the bottom. Um, Producer Hannah, are people going crazy for the Odie coat? Because I really want them to. They are. Oh, she Good. says, oh, yes, they are. I want you to enjoy the Ode Coat uh, because I do. Producer Hannah does. It's just a really handy thing to have in your stash, especially if you're making anything like this, uh, then it is super, super handy. My son has just discovered, um, like, they're pens, but they've got paint in instead. Oh, yeah, there's a exciting. lot of room for error with yeah, those. Yeah, that's quite so, good. So, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that sounds great. Is all I can say. What that, there that goes your living room floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they need to go in something that's going to not, you know, it needs to be contained, basically. Yeah, actually, and this would be it. Yeah, it'd be great to have something to hold all of Evelyn's, like, crayons. You know, you always have crayons or something in your bag yes. in case you're in a restaurant yeah. and there's nothing to do. Yeah. yeah. It'd be good for something like that, wouldn't it? Um, I will say as well, the... Um, the smaller makeup brush one is constructed in exactly the same manner. So it's just the sizing that's yeah, different, exactly. isn't it? Uh, you see, you see, you see makeup bag. I see pencil case. I think yeah. that's because you said pencil case earlier. But yeah. then I do like the idea of just putting your, your makeup brushes in there, keeping your watercolor brushes in there if you're an Ooh, artist. Oh yeah, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I really want. I've, I've been driving everyone up my um, 
day job completely mad because every time I see someone, I go, I really want a pencil case. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, I'm bought myself one. I just keep telling everybody about my need for I a pencil need case. A pencil I need case. a pencil yeah, case. Yeah, but if you are, I mean, I'm someone that loves stationery. I mean, oh, yeah. like probably too much. Yeah. And um, and so no, I'm always, I'm always, I'm always up for a good pencil case. And also, you know, kids always want a new pencil case when they go to school, don't they? Yeah. Each term they want a new pencil yeah. case. That can get expensive. So now make them one that nobody else is going to have. Because they do reach that point when they don't actually want everything that everybody else has. Yeah, They exactly. want something different. It takes a while, but they do get there. My birthday was in August every oh, year. Oh, you're in so, the year too? Yeah. yeah. So I always wanted, I always spent all my money on stationery. Yeah. And new pencil cases. Ready to go back to school. All the stuff, yeah. 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 yeah, So now I'm just turning it out again. Yes. What I'm, date are you in August? Uh, the 10th. I'm the 15th. Oh, you nice. Uh, mm. My daughter's the 19th. Really? Yeah. Oh, you see. So two Leos in one house, that's going to be exciting. That's going to be fun when she's a teenager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so turning that out. And where I've gone wrong, I've just stitched it closed, so it might not look as good as the other ones, but it's... We'll look at the other end. Yeah, it's a okay. good plan. Right, so point that out. You can use your pointers if you want to. Derek? You've got, you've got Derek? Derek, the dobber. Derek Dobber. Where are you, Derek? There you go. Yeah, that's the one that's a bit... Can you see how... Because I've cut it the other way, it's now got a slight V to it. Yes. Whereas on the other side... I it does like feel that counter as a design choice. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's good. Um, it does feel, yeah, counterintuitive when you're trying to do it, that you should. You, you feel like you should go straight across. Yeah. Um, but you can see... That well, thank you for giving us that design option. I did, well, I just did that completely. You can see of that's course you flat did. across the top. Yes. There you go. Right, so just pushing all of that out, like so. Well, you see, you could always, yeah, because then it looks like a fishtail on the other side, doesn't it? Yes, exactly. Which was my intention all along, of course. Yes. So there's your choice. There you go. Fab. There you go. There we go. Ta-da! So that is the corner that you're aiming for. Yes. That's what you... And you also want that, you can see there, you want that pink line to just go inside the seam. And it the does, it just disappears just in, disappears doesn't it? It away, and then on the other side as well. Fabulous. Yeah. Have we got time for slip stitch, or do you need to...? We're just going to show these bundles. OK, fab. Oh, this one bundle, because the other one's sold out. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to be able to make your flamingo with whatever style base you wish, then here we go, 30 pounds and 80 pence, VVGC 31. Everyone at home's going, oh yeah, we've done that before. Mm -hmm. uh, you get your zip, you get your two threads, you get your interfacing, you get your wadding, you get your instructions, you get a meter of fabric, half a meter of each, all in for 30 pounds and 80 pence. And of course you can make multiple bags. Now, what's, oh, the odor coat is running very low. So please do, put that down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please do get your odor coat. It's down there along the bottom. It's $14.99 for your odor coat, but you're going to love it. You're going to be odor coating everything. Uh, now, coming up tomorrow is top tools for dressmaking. John's back in tomorrow. We've got a brand new guest, and she's making a happy wanderer tote, and that's Nicola Dodd is our brand new guest, if she can get here. Uh, and then 10 a.m., not, you know, throw a span in the works or anything, but, you know, snow. Quilting tools kit is happening at 10 o'clock, and then 11 a.m. is quilting day out, which is Nicola Dodd again. Sounds exciting. It does sound good, mm. doesn't it? As long like as you're wrapped out. up warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not um, tomorrow. Stay safe, stay warm, stay inside, stay sewing. Yes. Is, is the other thing. I mean, that's the only uh, option, but really. We're all going to leg it now, aren't we? Yeah. Let's, let's be honest, because 12 o'clock... Has the snow started yet, floor manager Chris? You don't know. So I've been in the studio, Natasha. How would I know? <laughs> um, so, uh, anyway, stay in, stay safe, stay warm, stay sewing, and uh, John will see you tomorrow. I'm down at uh, Stitching and Knitting Show, and uh, thank you ever so much. No problem. Have a safe Thanks journey. Thanks for everything. Home. Yeah, safe journey to you too. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Join us on Friday, the 2nd of March, when we'll meet the delightful Nicola Dodd from Cake Stand Quilts for the very first time showcasing a happy wanderer bag and a block design. Nicola Dodd's debut show is set to be an exciting event where the hand quilter and Moda Fabric Ambassador takes us through a tropical turtle design using floral fabrics from Macau's Fruity Friends range alongside seaside blues and green hues. Nicola will be back at 11am where she'll be sharing a day out quilt with you. 
filled with solid colour fabrics and available as a kit in two springtime colourways. This is the perfect project to get your teeth into before the summer. So be sure to pop in and say hello to our new guest Nicola Dodd, Friday the 2nd of March, 9am and 11am. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678.